that better? Hello. Hi there. I had to change my language input. That hasn't happened in a while. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing okay. I'm having a kind of weird day myself. Ain't been able to wake up properly and my right eyelid is all weird and twitchy, but that should be no problem, I think. <laughs> it's good to be here. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, the plan for tonight is, of course, Rain World Downpour. We're getting awfully close to finishing out the Gourmand's Quest, I think, but um, gotta find a red centipede for that. Uh, that's ought to be, that ought to be a good time. Also need to decide when we get to that point what we want to do with regards to colored pearls because I feel like what I probably should do is go around and gather them all up and bring them over next to Moon and then have her translate them all during a stream sometime, but probably the process of gathering the pearls will not be particularly use interesting to watch. But I suspect that much like with the Survivor, if we actually finish out the... Uh, Gourmand's playthrough, then I probably won't be able to play as the Gourmand anymore, so I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about that there. Uh, we'll discuss later on. Ah, uh, let's see here. More Rainy Worlds, yes. You are still en route to Pipeyard? That's the idea, but I have no idea where it is. I'm in the middle of work, so I might be in and out for this first hour, but I decided for Skugs. Yes, well, sounds good. Thanks for stopping by. You can restart the adventures. You aren't locked. Okay. You can restart them. Well, well, we'll we'll deal with that when we come to it. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Why don't we get why don't we get down to it? Because yeah, the plan is to try and find Pipe Yard, because supposedly it in, it connects one side of the world to the other, which is convenient right about now if I can find that. Plus, I still haven't seen a red centipede in my entire life, so hard to know where to find something so I can eat it if I've never seen it before. For gathering pearls, there's a more interesting playthrough to do that than Gourmand, in case you wanted to put it off for another time. Um, fair. My concern then becomes, like, it's my understanding that the Sky Islands have, uh, at least in vanilla, five pearls, but only two of them spawn in any given playthrough, so I feel like I should probably gather some no matter which playthrough I'm doing. But, well, anyway, sounds good. You were kind of close last time to Pipeyard. Really? Interesting. I'm not going to say more than that. If you can remember to go in a similar direction. <laughs> Which way was I going? Ah, okay, but I remember that I was right above... I'm, why don't we just, instead of me speculating on where I was, why don't we just fire the game up and uh, get down to this? I'm pretty sure I'm directly above the, uh, the one place where I was harassing a caramel lizard every time it would wake up. Because I wanted to eat it, but I can't, because they're too strong. Although, of course, if I can't eat a caramel lizard, I'm probably not going to be able to eat a red centipede either. Oh, there's our boy! Look at him! Look at that guy! All right, cool, well. Right, I forgot that the background reflects where you are right now. We're in the subterranean and therefore we have this lovely background. Anyway, let's get to it. Subterranean. Okay, now I know I was going to the right, sort of vaguely. I was heading along. No, wait, those are the trains. I didn't go the train direction. I went over. Hold up. I went to the right, and then I went up here. And did I go th to the background there? No, I don't think I did. Looks like I put, stuck my face up there and then immediately went back down again. So where did I die? I got as far as seeing this room here, because this is where this room is filled with centipedes and not the red variety either. So where did I die last time? That's a great question. Okay, so that's that's the direction that you want to go if you if you get want to go get enlightened, which is not what we're here to do. Over here, that doesn't seem like that's where I was going either. Huh? What is this here actually? What are you actually? I don't show a death recently there. Hmm. But clearly I did die. I can't remember any of those directions at all. Huh. Okay. Well, how does one go that direction? That's a great question. <laughs> I have no idea how to go that direction. Huh? How is that possible? How do I remember all this space if, I'm, if I don't know how I got there? I don't know. Maybe one of these... One, maybe one of those there leads to an airlock or something and I came in through the back door that one time. Yeah, 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 that's probably what we're looking at. Anyway, let's go see what's going on out here. Hey, look at that. Carnage. Lots of it. 
Is that lizard alive or dead? I can't even tell. Dead? Well, I missed. Well, I missed. Well, I missed. That's unfortunate because it would be really nice to not miss just now. Okay, I'm going to catch my breath real quick. And are you still there? Yes, you are. Yeah, it, the centipede has absolutely killed the caramel lizard. So if I can uh, if I can get the centipede to stop sitting directly on top of my spawn zone, I could go eat that lizard. However, <laughs> the centipede doesn't seem real interested in that particular uh, possibility. I poked him. <laughs> poked him with my face. He did respond. I'm hoping that it'll, like, try and come in here. Oh, oh, wait, maybe. I think it did come in here. Okay, okay. Put it down. Eat the lizard. Wow, there's a lot of, there's a lot of meat on a, uh, on a caramel lizard, as it turns out. <laughs> I did not earn that at all. But okay, that's fine. Great. I, I, I tasted caramel lizard. I've done it. Thanks, Centipede, I guess. Also, thanks for not eating me, despite your best efforts. I guess let's go this way. If I was heading towards where the door to the pipe yards is, I do want to go the same direction again. Oh, there's another Centipede down there. How does that work? Oh, I see. There's actually an opening there. Oh, there's a spider down there, too. Wow. That hole just stinks. That's just a bad hole. Don't go in that hole. It's a bad hole. I made too much noise. And the thing came out of the bad hole. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. I just threw my spear into the wall, which is actually quite bad. It has grabbed me by the face. By its face. I mean, catching my breath. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Aside from the part where I don't have any equipment anymore. Okay, we have a scavenger. Oops, I've retreated. I see I'm here. The lizard has eaten the scavenger, and I guess I have nothing to say about that! Okay, 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 okay. I remember I went, right, I went up to the top right there, and that went let back to the train yards. So I went to the left, probably, but that just leads back towards the centipedes. So maybe I do need to go up and to the right here? Maybe I should go explore the train yards a little bit more? Maybe that'll get me where I'm trying to get? Hi. Please don't touch me. Thank you. Where are we? I guess I haven't explored this area. So I guess let's explore this area. Grab a rock. Could use a spear, please. There's one directly above me, but I can't get there from here. That looks like a gap I can get through. Very nice. There we are. Okay. Okay, we got big spider fighting with blue lizard. That is none of my business at all. Are you going to make it my business? I'd rather you didn't. Wait. That passageway down there. Hmm. Maybe I should go that way. That is the backdrop of the, uh, the loading screen. The, the, the title screen. I just started this game up a minute ago. That's what it was showing me. Was that, that screen right there. That's kind of neat. I don't think I've had it happen before where I was on the screen where the title showed up and recognized it. This probably just goes back down into the... Yeah, this looks a lot like it goes into the ventilation systems. Let's have a little bit of a look around, but I'm not too confident this is going to go anywhere I want to go. Well, there's some place to rest. That's something anyway. I'll not forget the taste of caramel lizard this way, so let's just go ahead and... Uh, Put, put, put those down. Put, put everything down. Take the food. Eat the food. Uh-huh. Very good. Come on out. I know you're in there. <laughs> For just a second, I had the grabby hand, but I did not actually manage to grabby. Come here. Thank you. Thank you for coming here. Okay. Great. Well, I guess I'll take a nap. I don't know if I'm going the right direction, but, you know, progress is progress. Plus, we're actually kind of getting up on the end of the cycle. I spent too much time looking at my map at the beginning of the cycle, I guess. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. 
So that last dot there, I already know, is the, uh, the pier. We're not going there until we've eaten everything we came to eat. I got, I got a slight amount of chieftain for popping up out of a hole, watching a scavenger get eaten, and then leaving. <laughs> I guess they're into that. What do I know about it? Let's see here. How are y'all doing? The pipeyard connects to the red zone where all those mole lizards hide. Oh, the, uh, friggin... I'm supposed to go to the ventilation system. Well, and I might be heading the right direction. See, Emperor Voice, what are you? Are you here to play? Mole lizard eats you. This is playing. <laughs> Caught between a rock and an electric place, huh? Centipede said, oh, you want to eat my big brother, huh? Yummy caramel. Subterranean sure is a maze. It, it certainly is. It certainly is. But perhaps we're going the right way. Perhaps. And if not, well probably die and that's fine I'll probably die even if I do it the right way that's just how the game works by the way I do have a fan running in here right now so if there's any like weird background noise let me know and I can shut that off it's just we're getting to the time of year where it gets mighty warm in this here recording room I think at the moment it's about 77 degrees in here I have a thermometer over there and that's pretty hot by my standards that's a mole lizard that's a little bit annoying but they are auditory hunters, so if I just don't make much noise, we'll be okay. I think I made a noise. <laughs> I do believe I made a noise. Oh, yes, I definitely made a noise. Oh, boy. Hi. We going the same way? Red zone. Hi! Wow, I missed with everything I had in my hands. That's a, that's a real shame, that. <laughs> and stashed. Well, that was quick. That was a quick cycle, that was. Okay, but I'm, I am advised that I'm supposed to be looking for this area anyway, so we're going the right way, I just need to not die is the thing. It's also a little bit awkward fighting the mole lizards in these crawlways because I can't throw down or up, but they can certainly attack me from those directions, and they're faster than I am unless, I, unless I'm really, really good about speed boosting off of corners. Not usually. So I think the most important thing here is to move silently as much as possible until I'm out of the little passageways. Wow, that's two of them. Nice. Nice. I fell. <laughs> he didn't seem to hear it, though, so I guess that's fine. I'm hoping he comes out of the corner there. Whoa, there's a... Whoa, hi. Wow, they scared me. Okay, the lizards definitely heard that. Is not too surprising. There we go. Just winning myself some favor with the local scavengers. Don't worry about a thing. Yeah, you're right. I did kill that lizard. It's very impressive, right? I'm a cool guy. I'm a cool guy, and you shouldn't kill me. Where'd the body of that lizard go? Down here? Oh, wow. It went way down here. There's a huge scavenger lizard war going on down here. And Wait, is that the corpse of the lizard I killed? That's it. Yes, it is. Okay, so I got my, I got my spear back. Okay, now we need to... Uh, yes, yes, I know. I'm sorry. That's way too many lizards for me to be able to deal with, honestly. I'm real good at killing one lizard. Five lizards, probably too many lizards, honestly. Let's see here. Where did I put my stuff? Where did I put my... Uh, I. There we go. Okay. And now there's a giant corpse in the way of the direction I want to go. Hey, he's got one of those things that I needed to eat earlier. That's interesting. I wonder why. Wait, it's it's a light source. He's carrying it as a light source. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's interesting. So it's like a lantern, but not quite as glowy, maybe. At least a different color of glowy. Yes, hello, excuse me. There's a corpse in the way. It's my fault. I wish I could just eat the entire corpse. It's not like it's doing anybody any good and hanging out in the pathway like that. Look at all the scavengers. What the heck? How come there are so many? Okay, okay, so they're they're dealing with the lizard down there. There's another one there. This one seems to be dead. I'm making a bunch of noises. There's two down there now. Now, okay, that's not great. Okay, that didn't work out as I wanted. I gotta rest. Please don't kill me accidentally. Thank you for killing the lizard, I guess. There's another one. Where's my rock? Hello, excuse me, where's my rock? Where's my rock? There's my rock. Okay, got my rock. Oh, I guess I could also eat this lizard. Sure, why not? 
I didn't realize I could eat from a lizard when I had one of my hands full. That's interesting. I don't honestly know how I did it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Listen. Did that work? I think that worked. I think I got him. Great. I helped. I'm helping. I may get chiefed in yet. That guy is flipping out. You okay? Okay, excuse me. I'm just going to go this way. I got a full belly. I'm supposed to be searching for something. Let's just try not to get in each other's way, huh? I'm going to go to the right. Because ostensibly where I'm trying to get is to a passageway that should lead all the way east. Ah! Okay, so there's a passageway up from there. Just need to not fall out of the hole. Okay. I can deal with that. We just need to go here. There we are. And then there we go. Okay. Okay. There are gooey ducks growing in the ventilation shafts. That's probably not good for their intended purpose. But I don't think anything's been working down here for quite some time. Not that I really know what I'm talking about. Mm, can I just climb through this? I can. I always find it very difficult in the ventilation shafts telling what is real. <laughs> What's actually a path forward, and what's the background that I'm going to smash my face into if I try? I suppose that's what the um, think about the map button is for, but, well, I'm not always the best about that. Ah, okay, 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 come on. Don't try and hurry it, just, wow, ah, okay, this is a, okay. Okay, 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 sure. And then go up from here. We're at a zone boundary. Have I been here before? I'm not sure, but I should probably take a rest and then... Wait, this looks really familiar. This looks really familiar. Now, it might just be because I've been in the ventilation shafts and I have been to areas that look like this, but I feel like this is going to go someplace I don't want to go. So let's go and rest first, if possible. I can't go that way to get to, get to rest. Okay, we got to go... Okay, gotta take a break. Ah, deep breaths. There we go. Now we go up here. Up here. Have to jump across these tire-looking things. I don't think they are tires. Because they seem to be embedded in the wall, and that would be weird if they were tires. Just need to hop across this. Hop across it. Hop. Hopping across. There we go. All right. Rest area. Now, the re this rest area does not look familiar, interestingly. And it has a picture of the Enlightenment seal to the right there. That's interesting. This isn't the direction to go to get enlightened, so I'm not sure what that's all about. Hmm. Also, it, ha it has some passage progress to report. I wonder if I did make... I, did I wonder if I made it. Chieftain! I am the Chieftain. Now, the problem with being the Chieftain... <laughs> there's a very real problem with being the Chieftain. Because Chieftain is the one passage that even if you get it, you can lose it. Because it's based on your reputation with the Scavengers. Now, that wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for the fact that when you're the Chieftain, the Scavengers feel it's necessary to send an entourage who are going to follow you around and attempt to help you. The thing is, this is Rain World. <laughs> and so when things try to help you, that doesn't always go so good. They won't consciously try to kill me, but certainly befriending lizards is out of the question. And if I happen to throw spears and hit them, well, maybe I'm not Tirfton anymore. Anyway, how are you? Oh, hey, I have a fun story. Last Friday, we lost power for 11 hours because two separate people drove into two separate power poles on our street. That's the whole story, but that's a heck of a story. Wow. Dang, did you have stuff charged? Yeah, but I was in the middle of work, so it was dang inconvenient. I, I don't blame... I, I'm not surprised. That's awful. <laughs> the scavenger just pointing at you like, saw that, saw you. It's fun when positive scavenger reputation actually works out for you. That's not the right karma gate. Is this filtration to drainage? Yeah, fighting and saving those cows did a lot for you. You won't lose the achievement for achievement chieftain at this point. Just loses reputation at best. Is that so? Okay, well, good. That's good. Never mind. Huzzah, scav friends. I've never really experienced those entourages. It might only happen if you give them pearls. That's possible. All I know is that when the last, the last time I got chieftain over in the Sky Islands, as soon as I did so, there were three scavengers who would follow me around immediately. Like, as soon as I stepped out of my 
Uh, I think they were even in my shelter. I'm not confident about that. In any case, it could get complicated. And apparently we're in the wrong place, so I guess I better get back in there. For whatever reason, this place isn't showing up on my map, though. So at the very least, I'm going to stick my face in the uh, passageway to the drainage, irrigation, whatever it's called. I can't remember all of a sudden. I'm just going to look at it so my brain can be like, oh, yeah, this place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. Cool. Well, this is not the right place. I understand. Let's go somewhere else then. Maybe I should have some, some fruit while I'm here. Have a little fruit. There we are. One, two. And then three, four. Very good. I love how when technically a thing is outside of your arm's length, it just sort of also isn't outside of your arm's length. Everything in physics is sort of stretchy in Rain World. So it's close enough, basically. That's what it comes down to. Now, I killed, between me and the scavengers, we killed a lot of mole lizards last time, so it'll probably be a cycle or two before they start showing up in full force again. I wonder what is the deal in here with lineage, though. Like, can the mole lizards actually change into leapsers and whatnot here in the subterranean? Or in the uh, filtration system, specifically? I am i don't know. I'm curious, though. I should go this way. I should go this way. And then this way. Yes, good. Okay, is there a floor here? Absolutely not. Okay. Well, let's go back up. Drop your stuff here. And get some gooey ducks. Can I carry two gooey ducks? I can indeed. Okay. Just chew that open. There we go. Very good. And I'm full yet again. So, good place to be. Um, blah. Hey! An unlucky thing. Great. Thank you. Is that, does that mean this is a dead end? Of course it does. Of course it does. Why would they possibly put the unlock someplace that's useful for any other purpose? Oh, no. Getting out of here is going to be tricky, too, isn't it? Nah. Okay. Wait. Can I just go through this wall? Absolutely not. It looks like you can. It looks like you can, but you can't. It's a solid wall. Okay. I might have to use my spear to get out of here, and that's annoying. Never mind. We're good. Never mind, it just worked that time. Okay. So, I guess take the passageway to the left, if possible. How do I get in there? Directly in front of you. Okay. Way. Go out and to the bottom left. And then, I don't know. Just look for other ways to go, I guess. Well, okay. Right, I remember this part. I remember this part. Remember this room. So where where am I going instead then? Okay, we got mold lizards around, so maybe don't look at your map right now. Well, okay. Ow. Cool. Good. Good. That that's a good idea. Falling on your face in an area filled with auditory predators. Great idea. Great idea. Okay. Well, they they missed me. Fortunately. Whew. I mean, I I could spear them in the face. But there's, again, I can only spear so often. <laughs> and there's a lot of them. And apparently we didn't reduce their numbers as much as I was optimistically believing. So where am I trying to get? There's a way to go down there. Is that, have I been that way before? Doesn't look like it. How do I go that way now, though? Mm, great question. Keep moving slowly. We don't want to make any noises right about now. This is exactly the sort of area I do not want to fight mole lizards in. Okay, so we go in here to get down that passageway. Okay, sounds good. Uh, there's another rest area. Interesting. And lots and lots of mole lizards. Not surprising, but uh, something to be aware of. <laughs> Look at them. 
<laughs> Why are there so many of them? Which way are you going? Which way are you going? This way? You coming up this way? No, he wasn't. Okay. Okay, we're good. Ah, I just, I just dropped. I just dropped. I don't think they heard it though. Okay. Just ooze down the walls. Try not to make any noises. That one's coming this way, but I'm just gonna rest. We're gonna be rest. We're gonna rest. We're gonna be fine. Resting and being fine. That's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, it's a little less scary when you at least can auto kill one of them. But the fact is, there are far too many of them for me to effectively combat, at least solo. And then, as you as you mentioned, the scavengers didn't just automatically give me an entourage. So that's um. That's fine, honestly. It's fine. What is that top left one I just lost progress on? Is that, um... Is that Outlaw? No, I already got Outlaw. That's probably Hunter. Because it's... Cause, okay, okay, okay. Look look at the symbol for the top left one that my... Um, I can't, I can't possibly mouse over it or anything like that. You can't see my mouse. Um, just left of the X, the one that I just lost progress on, so it's got a little red pulsing thing. The top part is the karma for food, and the bottom part is the car karma for combat, and therefore that's the hunter one. Ah, I love that that works. I love that that works, that's neat. Anyway, how are we all doing? Bad at do. Fruit. I did not realize how fast mole lizards actually are. They're very fast, particularly in short, in narrow little passageways. Filtration has so many places to nap. Now about, now you're about the same distance away from Piper as the last shelter you rested at. Interesting. Does that mean I passed it? <laughs> I suspect that means I passed it. Oh, I can look at my map while I'm asleep. It's not very... It's not very clear, but it, I can look at my map while I'm asleep. Okay, okay. So the last place I rested was there. If I'm equidistant from pipe... I can only think of... I always, I always want to call it pipe world, which is a Mario 3 thing. It's pipe land, yes. I wonder if I need to go over this way, then. Possible. It seems like if I go to that passageway right there, about dead center in the screen right now, leading off to the right to who knows where, that might be a place to start. How do I get there from here? We go back up the way we came, and work our way over to the right. Up this passageway, through that one, and down to the right. Okay. Pipe cleaners. Pipe valley. Yes, all those things. The pipe, the mole lizards are the pipe cleaners. Pretty much. Actually, I'm probably a better pipe cleaner than they are. Unless I am not actually particularly goopy. I feel goopy, but I don't leave a residue or anything, so... Anyway, continue. It would be a bad pipe cleaner if it left a residue. So never mind. I do imagine if there's anything on the walls of these passageways, it is just all getting stuck in my fur. It's probably a fairly bad time for anything even marginally grooming conscious. Okay. Alright, the mole lizards are already out in force, which is actually kind of surprising, because in a lot of zones, the lizards don't show up until... Why, why is this happening? Okay, you're just passing by. Okay. The lizards don't usually come out of hiding into I threw everything and I missed. I threw everything and I missed. I threw everything and I missed. Ah! Ah! No, let me go. No, let me go. Let me go. Uh. <laughs> Frequently you come out of your shelter, the rain is just stopping and um then the lizards show up out of their shelters shortly thereafter, but they are apparently Maybe there isn't as much rain down here, or maybe the lizards just wake up sooner than I do. I'm not really sure. In any case, they're already very much out. And I fired, and I missed, and I'm fired again. I fired. I missed both times. And I got sad and had a popsicle. Okay, we try again. If there was any open space, I would just hunt a couple of them so that I could eat. But there's no open space. Okay, 
the same thing is happening again. Just gotta wait for a break in traffic. Looks like there's another one coming over. Oh, you're just going through that passageway? That's fine. Okay, great. Let's just go. Just scuttle my way along. We're going up here. There's a lizard directly behind me, which is fun. Which is fun. Unfortunately, I tired myself out before I threw there. Just from climbing, I think. Whew. What, what are they doing? Did I actually kill one? Maybe they were just investigating the noise and I was already gone, so that they were just making sure they couldn't hear anything? That could be. I'm backwards. There we go. Is this the place I wanted to go to? No, it's not. But we're kind of close. This goes back up. We don't want that. We don't want this. Ah, oh, that, that leads to the... That's the way to, to the drainage system, for sure. So we gotta go down this way. Try not to just fall. Yeah, like that. Don't do that. We're going this way. Okay, we got gooey ducks. We got lizards somewhere snapping at something. Probably each other. Although I don't think I've witnessed the mole lizards fighting amongst themselves particularly much. The first time for everything. Passage away on the far right. Can't get there from here. Okay, why don't we go here? Think about it for a second. Okay, this is connecting to places I've been. But again, I was told I was getting pretty close to Pipe Yard last time. Anyway, that's a colored pearl, isn't it? What do I have in my stomach right now? What do I have in my stomach? Nothing. Oh, isn't that interesting? Let me just see here. Is it not a colored pearl? It's not showing up on my map, so it's probably not a colored pearl. Okay, well, I'm just still going to st stick it in my stomach, just in case I need to bribe someone. And then the lizards are coming, and there's no way out of this chamber other than the way I came, so let's go somewhere else. I want to work my way to the upper right here, because there was a passageway over there. This goes to there. We don't want that. I bet you this one here goes to the one on the far right. It does, okay. So then we go up. And this is a jumping thing, and that's gonna make all kinds of noise. So, great idea, let's do it. Yep, everybody heard that. Everybody heard that. Yep, everybody heard that. Yep, hi. But I'm silent now, so you don't hear nothing. Ah, did you, bah, don't touch. No touching. No, 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 no touching. No touching. Okay, gotta not be here anymore because I made noise right there. Everything's gonna be able to. T Everything's gonna come for me right there. Why is it that lizards all know their way around, huh? I mean, because they live here, yes, but stop it. Okay, so how do I get down there? Ah, this way. Good. Wow, I'm hungry. Okay. Let's eat while I'm here. That does sound like a lizard is following. Maybe I should kill and eat said lizard. Ah, it didn't come over here. That's fine. Okay, so we got a thing on the right which looks like it'll probably lead towards a shelter or a gate or something along those lines. Let's check that way first. Eh. Eh. <laughs> okay, that's not exactly the sort of thing I was looking for. It's not terrible, but it's not what I was looking for. So let's try the other way. Something went that way. What was that? Big spider. We're just going to leave that be. We're just going to keep walking. That's what we're doing. Where am I? What am I trying to get to? Ah! Try going down, I guess. <laughs> How's this cycle doing? We still have more than half of the cycle left, so we're doing okay on that front. This is a weird place. It also has a shelter. Hmm. Okay. I will use that shelter, but first, I believe I passed a gooey duck somewhere back there. 
If I can find where that was, that would be useful. Am I making that up? I could have sworn I saw one. Where was that? I saw a gooey duck. I don't see it now. Was it a ways back? Was it in here? This is where I ate the fruits. Oh, it was the other way. It was the other passageway. This passageway over here had a gooey duck in it. So let's go get it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. The the webbing that surrounds the gooey ducks before you pick them, with the light working around it like that, looks a lot like a big spider. <laughs> or some other variety of predator. Oh, hey, it probably makes a nice loud, loud noise when you pop open a gooey duck, doesn't it? I hadn't considered that. I mean, it doesn't matter. We're no lizards about. But anyway, we're going this way. Not a quite a full stomach, but close enough for my purposes. Okay, so back down here. Back down here. Okay. Now, how do I get there from here? Is this going to be a maze? Are you going to make me work for it? Or do I just follow one of these passageways? Looks like I just follow one of these passageways. Great. It's in the ceiling. Ah, there we go. There we go. Great, I'm in. What a claustrophobic little t hibernation chamber. <laughs> Somehow it seems to make a huge difference when it's a 3x3 three three instead of a 4x4. Four four. Just feels cramped. Apparently, Gourmand has been rated top slug cat for comfiest sleep, for sure. Unsurprising, he's the cuddliest, least cuddly. Artificer? Could be. Remember, rocks can make sounds unrelated, but I really love the sound debris makes when they hit walls sometimes. Yes. Hello, hello. Getting warmer. Okay, well, that's good to know. That's good to hear. We're on the right track, apparently. Neat. And you're right. I, I should keep in mind that rocks can make noises to distract things. My experience has been that it also makes a noise when you throw rock. So if you don't plan ahead, it may not be as helpful as you want it to be. And I'm not always the best at planning ahead. That was the noise of someone picking up a spear. That was the noise of someone throwing firecrackers. Scavengers are around, apparently. That's a scavenger, indeed. Okay, well. Well. Hi. Hi. How are you? Go ahead. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't pick up my spear. Maybe you didn't see me drop it or something? That could be. Hey, go ahead. Alright. I need to, like... How do I get that gooey duck? I want it. I want it. Is this not a real passageway? It's not. I'm just making all sorts of sound. No problem. No problem at all. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go over here up here, and from this pole over here, I can probably get the gooey duck. Hi! Please don't, please don't. Don't interfere with me right now, I'm hungry. He <laughs> actually listened. Thank you. Unusually considerate for a scavenger. Alright. Still not, a, not enough to hibernate, but we're coming along. We're making progress. What is... What is that? That's a big spider! It's just sitting there. Yeah, I don't know what it's doing. It's just like in the... Okay, wow, you're braver than me. Is it dead? Oh, did they kill it? They must have killed it. That's why it's not trying to eat me right now. Well, then I'll eat it. <laughs> They're like, hey, he's eating that thing. This guy's crazy. Yeah, I, mean, I, I'm, I don't know how to explain it, man. Wait, did I actually... Oh, they took my spear, didn't they? And traded me one of the awful glowy things that I wanted to eat that one time. No, my spear's still here. And I got my rock as well. Okay, sure, whatever. Not gonna complain then. Thanks for thanks for the spider meal. Door. No, let's go door. I was not aware there were so many uh, scavengers in the subter... That's what I thought. And that's also something I had suspicions about, but hadn't confirmed yet. Big spiders thrash around for a while when they're dying. Which makes it unclear if they're dead or not. 
I guess it's the um, it's like the the invulner- involuntary convulsing that it, that a lot of bugs do when they're in the process of dying. So it kind of makes sense. Although spiders are not necessarily bugs. Um, full stomach. Where to? This is all area I've been sort of through before, huh? Except there's a passageway to the left and up. Hmm. Yeah, left and up. Okay, left and up. Let's aim for left and up. That's not real. Okay. Now where can I go? This way. Okay. Left and up. That one. Okay. This passageway here. Got lizards. And that's all I can say for sure. They probably heard me just now. Several lizards. That one's got a centipede. Presumably stashing it. Don't let me stop you. I suppose when I make that pouncy emotion, it probably makes the noise that it the, the animation has a, a sound associated with it. Probably actually makes that noise, doesn't it? Maybe. Well, there's a passageway I haven't taken before. And it seems very dramatic, like well lit. You can see it from a long way away, and then the path just leads right to it. So maybe this is progress? Are you progress? The lizards are hearing me, so please be progress. There's a monster kelp in the top right. I think. Yeah, there is. That's not ideal. Since I have to go that way, and I can't do it silently, so I guess... Wow, okay. Ah, it's in the, it's in the passageway up there. It can't get down here. Well, that's nice. Hmm... I guess I'll try going this way rather than the, the large pipe. Should be a little bit easier to navigate. A little bit easier to backtrack if I need to. Hey! A teachy arm. Thank you. Does that mean this is a dead end? <laughs> is that what this means? Oh, you want me to swim? But I don't want to swim. No. Make noises. All right. Don't rush it. Just there you go. Well, this is a dramatic hallway. There's a colored pearl up there. How do I get there? Great question. How do you? Like that. Okay. Blech. Just go ahead and stash this one away. Make sure none of the other ones show up as colored. They do not. Okay. Given that that was a colored pearl, that may easily be the old point of this passageway. Although I'm hoping it will be otherwise. Centipedes. Okay. We have centipedes. I put a spear in one. It seems to have done the job. There's a lizard as well, because why not? I'm already recovered from hunting, weirdly enough. Hi. Oh, well, not to, I don't need to eat. Sorry. <laughs> I got a full belly. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, the rain's coming. Hi. The rain's coming. Would you mind? Yeah. You, you just go over... Okay, all right. You're still hunting, huh? You're still definitely hunting. Well, fine. Terribly sorry about this. Nothing personal. All right, rest. Okay. Just have to find a shelter at this point. Any shelter will do. Hi! You're not convenient. How do I get there? There's spiders... There's centipedes. I don't have a weapon anymore. I'm okay with it. I'm hurrying. We're hurrying. That centipede should be small enough where it's not going to hunt me. The big one is still probably after me. 
We're just going to the shelter. We're not going to worry about a thing. Leave the spear in the centipede. It ain't going nowhere. Not in here, anyway. Great. Resting. Now we find out if I went the right way. <laughs> I, got, I just got a Reddit notification that said, Is this the hardest regular enemy in the game? I checked it and there was a picture of a Royal Revenant. <laughs> I mean, not easy. That is true, unless you actually listen to people telling you to use a heal spell nearby to them. Then suddenly they become kind of trivial. Turns out, who knew? Everybody but me. How old do you know the map, Darkus? I've barely explored subterranean. I'm trying to keep track of Sharky using the wiki map. I recognize this place, though. Unlocked monster kelp. It's true. You have to pick up a pearl first for it to show up on the map to see if it's colored. You feel a cold chill over your shoulder. Which I believe means I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Man, I had a good feeling about this, though. Where does this even go if not to the pipe yard? All right, I'm curious enough where I'm going to go find out where this goes. We may have to come right directly back through this passageway afterwards. I recognize that. I'm all right with it. I'll allow it. We're, we're doing it anyway. Because I want to know where I'm going. If there are two passageways out of the subterranean into the filtration, uh, not the filtration system, the um, drainage system, that seems silly. This could also go to the coastline, I suppose, but that seems a long way away. I mean, I've been heading eastward steadily, but like, not that far. Oh, this really feels like a coastline thing, though. Well, if this is coastline, we'll just go there, and we'll visit Moon and give her this pearl, and then try and find the pipe yard. After all, I just need to explore until I find a... We're back in the surface area of the subterranean. But there's a lot more ambient light than I was expecting. Anyway, this is not... This is not, by any means, anywhere near to the coastline, but we're way further east than I've ever been in Subterranean. And I can go back this way, but it's gonna be tricky. It's gonna require acrobatics. Okay. What the heck is this? It's so cool. What is this? What's making, what was that? Oh, it's a leap cert. <laughs> oh, it's a leap cert. I see. I see. Well, that is complicated, isn't it? Oh, they're very good at jumping into passageways, it turns out. Are you good at swimming, too? I bet you are. I bet you are. This place is really cool, but you need to leave me alone. You need to leave me alone. He's very insistent. <laughs> Drop wig! Just what I always wanted. Eat the drop wig, 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 eat the drop Don't bolt just hunt me! Eat the drop wig! Get him. Get him, not me! 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 Where did he even go? I don't know where the drop wig went. Oh, you're so good at that! Listen, listen, I didn't want it to come to this. I missed! <laughs> this is why I didn't want it to come to this. What the, the Leviathan? What the Leviathan is down there? There's just a Leviathan down there. Leave me alone. I'm really busy right now. I threw away my spear. I needed that. Ah, ah, resting. Why is there a Leviathan down there? My rock back, don't have a weapon, doesn't matter, I guess. Deh. Just try and outrun him. For now, just try and outrun him. Yes, he can still see you. Yes, he can still hear you. Yes, he's probably going to catch up in about three seconds, but just keep going. Maybe you'll get away. That's a big centipede, but it's orange. Pull, pull, pull. Use pull. Use pull. Would you stop, though? Ah, dang it. I didn't turn around. I picked up the spear, and I didn't turn around, and I just threw everything, and now I'm dead. Legitimately dead. No, I'm not dead yet. 
I wonder if the Gormon's harder to kill with lizard teeth. I don't feel like I've ever died from a... I mean, I think the red may have killed me instantly, but I don't think anybody else ever has. Where are you going to stash me exactly? How many layers can there be around here? I do appreciate that when they do the leaps, there's no control there. Like, they're very good at aiming it, but they just sort of... Oh, okay, there's your lair. Cool, cool, cool. All right, catching up on chat then. I kind of recognize this next zone. I've never seen this special place myself. Oh, I know where this is, I think. Hey, Sharky, you should totally swim in the room. Oh, wait, I know where we are. Yeah, this room is awesome. More specifically, what's in this room? Leviathan says hello. It's an albino Leviathan, the only one in the game. Yeah, that Leviathan is very special. You can only find the albino one in this room. That leap was determined. Yes, yes, it was. I kind of want to better look at the albino Leviathan then. It looks exactly the same underwater. I suppose you'd have to get its attention and have it try and chase you to the land? Which sounds like the dumbest thing I could possibly do. But I mean... What do I have to lose? Karma, basically. I can always get more karma. I'm going back. And I'm afraid I'm going to kill the Leapsert if I see it. If I get an opportunity, I'm going to try and kill it. I don't like killing leapsards, but they sure like killing me. And that's the problem. Okay. Be nice if I ran into him here. Wow, there's two of them! What an unexpected delight! Hi. Making noises. Yeah, you heard that, didn't you? Yep, sorry about this. The other one might have heard all that. Probably did. Definitely did. Oh, hi. Could you chill for a second? Chill for five moments. Okay, I missed. Apparently the rock knocked him back into his own body instead of flipping his face around and therefore my spear bounced off of his incredibly rock-like skull. Okay, great. Great. If only I had a singularity bomb. I don't know. <laughs> Leviathan snack. Aside from which, if there's only one albino Leviathan in the world, I kind of don't want to kill it. I mean, I guess I could eat it then. I suppose if I killed the Leviathan, I could eat it. But... <laughs> also... Leviathans appear mostly metallic as far as I've seen. Like, flesh on a metallic body type of thing. They seem to have, like, grinders for teeth. Kind of a Horizon Zero Dawn situation. Like, I'm not sure it's good eating. <laughs> Might just be like chewing on a car. Which, admittedly, if the Gourmand had the opportunity to chew on a car, you better believe he'd do it. There are three of them now! Why are they... Why are they... Why are they... Why? How can this be? How can this be? I, st I put a spear in your back. How what the heck? Listen. <laughs> Let's go get my other spear. There. Hi, you're back. That was fast. Can they actually, like, change dimensions? Is that what's going on here? That was some weird stuff happening, I tell you what. Anyway, excuse me. Thank you. It seems so disrespectful how every time I kill something and eat it, and I get done eating off of its corpse, I just sort of toss the remains. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh, oh look at him. Oh, boy, I'm in trouble now. <laughs> oh, yes, we're in trouble. <laughs> Problems. Get to the pole, get to the pole. Yes, good. Good. Pole, good. I don't think a Leviathan can grab me off the land, but I've never been in a situation where they could try, so... 
Man, look at him. In as much as you can. Admittedly, I'm, you know, being a coward right now. But I have reason for that! The pole I need to get to is on the other side of the Leviathan right now. So I figure we let the Leviathan back off for a bit. Probably wait till the waves die down a little bit. That might help. All the other leapsers just left, which is convenient as far as I'm concerned. All right, let's uh, let's let's see if I can see what I can see over there. You're really just kind of camping, huh? Hmm, what do I do about this? I might have to just leave. <laughs> I don't think there's any way I'm brute forcing my way past the Leviathan. Unless I had that singularity bomb, as discussed. And again, I don't really want to kill it. Hmm. That just skipped off the surface of the water. That's interesting. I didn't know that rocks could do that. I was, ho I was hoping to make a noise as it landed in the water to try and, like, attract its atten the Leviathan's attention. But I might be too far away for that. Oh, there it is! There it is! Yeah, but it does seem like it went left again rather than right. Okay, hmm. probably heard that. After all, it's a water predator, right? You'd think it would hear that. But it's not coming this way at all. At all. It's right there. Leapser, scared out of its mind. Sure, understandable. Well, I do have a way to get its attention. It's just not a very good idea. Uh, I'm not sure that it even connected with the body at all. And now I'm very tired. I did throw a spear at it, in case you couldn't tell what I did just now. <laughs> I threw a spear at it, feebly, uselessly. It sort of dropped off into the bottom of the ocean. Not ocean, but, you know, this water body thing. What if I give it, what if I give it this leap cert? Do you think it would spare me if I gave it a leap cert? Ah! That didn't work. It's a half-chewed leap cert, but, like, food's food, right? Maybe it'd appreciate it. I don't know. Come with me. I said, uh, come with me. Oh, they're heavy. <laughs> ah, why are you so heavy? Ah, come here. Come here. Come on. I'm going to tire myself out with all this jumping. Good. I'm not tired yet. And sploosh. I genuinely don't know how a Leviathan's going to feel about eating a corpse. But, wow, they're so heavy. How are you so heavy? I can barely move with this thing. You'd think it would be easier to drag through the water, based on how physics works, but you would be wrong. I guess I'm... I guess I am using the limbs that I use for swimming to carry the lizard right now. That probably makes swimming pretty hard. It's probably not so much that it's heavy, it's more that I just can't swim with my hands full like this. Ugh, I cannot n maneuver at all. This is not working. <laughs> but I'm almost there now, so I gotta at least try it. As an interesting... S oh, hey, tentacle. Neat. As an interesting side note, whenever the Leviathan bumps into a wall, there's actually a vibration in my controller, which usually only happens when the rain is coming. Hmm, that other leapster's gone. Would you care for this one? I brought you a thing. I brought you a thing. Have fun with the corpse. It's definitely paying attention. To me? Possibly to me. No, it found the corpse. It found the corpse all right. <sighs> no, it didn't. It doesn't care. Okay. Well, then what do I do about you, huh? That's his mouth. I'm pretty sure if I touch that, I'm just dead. I could swim underneath him, but again, he's a leviathan. If he wants to outmaneuver me, he probably just does that thing. But I got his attention. So he's not at the surface anymore. So let's just move. Let's just move. Let's just pretend it's not down there and just... <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. We're here. We made it. Where are we going? What is this place? There's a lizard. It's dead. What even killed you? 
I have no idea, but I'm eating you. Bizarre. I wonder what got him. Um, I'm going to go up first. Okay, that's sure something. Don't see. There's a spear directly above me. I could get that. Okay, let's look. What's, let's look at what's down. I've put a corpse in the passageway, which is going to make things annoying. If you could just come with me. You can't, huh? Okay. Let's just push you into the passage then. Put him down. Put him down. There you go. Okay. Now we need to just shove him along. Just shove him along. There we go. Just extrude him. Okay. Centipede. Mm, this looks like a hole, but it's not one. Okay. That's a centipede as well. Not a red one. Although it is fairly fluorescent looking. That's a big centipede. That's a big centipede. Trying to make noises to get its attention. It doesn't seem to be paying attention. Okay. Well, I need a shelter pretty soon here, so... Oh, boy! That's not what I was going for at all. Is there anything down here? No. It's a dead end. Great. Great. What do I do about this? Um... Hi. Don't mind me. Don't... Don't you do it! I said don't! I said don't! Ah. <laughs> Man, why'd you have to wake up just because I... Like squeezed underneath your body and out into the passageway. It's not my fault. Ah, all right, all right, all right. Scrolling back to catch up on chat. Mm -hmm -hmm. Leviathan snack. Rainworld itself isn't fully convinced you can kill leviathans. They have industrial grade hydraulic presses for mouths. It does seem to be the case. Yeah, it doesn't really know what to do if you use commands or cheats to kill one. Apparently, they have 1,000 hit points. That's several. Got to slide in enemies more. Gormon's immense growth is great against low to the ground enemies. No kidding. Pallid boy. Albino hydra hydraulic press monster. You may as well have killed all the cyan lizards. You may... I mean, I only killed one as far as I know. The implication that this leviathan either got trapped down here or there has been an entirely separated population of underground leviathans is very interesting. It is. I remember several times in my playthroughs I find changed screens and the next thing I knew I was already in the jaws of a leviathan. It's smaller than a normal one. Imagine... I imagine it's here to sort of guard the filtration system, but the broken bridge here could act almost as a cage, I suppose. Maybe it was here as an adolescent and grew into the confines of subterranean. The floods during rain times would allow migration of animal creatures of the smaller variety. That's my thought as well. Imagine it never knowing other leviathans, a lonely giant in this isolated pool at the bottom of the world. Its pathfinding seems stuck. Best bet is probs to hibernate till the next cycle. Oh, sick, he's having spin time. Barely made it. Lizard extrusion. Oh, I thought of something. Maybe it's here because it's albino. Being in shoreline would cause it to burn up from the sun, and over the millennia they live, developing life and cancer quite fast. That's possible, but why wouldn't it just go down deeper if there's a shoreline native? Such a small pool is not an ideal location for a big predator. It's no location for a mighty warrior, because there's much food deeper down. I guess that's also true. Although, who, who knows? I don't spend much time in the actual deep downs. Maybe there's more than I think. Anyway. So this place is interesting, but also not where I'm going, huh? It seems to be back heading towards the train yards, as far as I can tell. Hmm. So if I want to make it to the pipe yard, I need to backtrack, correct? I should probably do that now. <laughs> we had our albino leviathan adventure. I'm actually quite satisfied on that aspect. I'm glad we saw as much of it as we did and didn't get eaten, which was nice. But I think, I think right now, that's the thing to do, is go back. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't know where I'm going, is the other thing. Yeah, this is worth it. The albino is very rare and cool to see. I agree. I'm glad that I went this way. Wait, do I have that? I've got the colored pearl, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Making sure. Yes, indeed. Okay. Swallow that again. All right. Um, now, this passageway had lizards and centipedes in it, right? If I'm remembering correctly. Is this a dead end? With just food in it. Yeah, and a broken passageway. Okay. 
Well, I can do better than water plants since there's no water even close to that. Have to travel two screens with them just to crack them open. I can do better. Okay, there's the centipedes. Great. Well, it's good eating on centipedes. I just probably have to stab it more than once is the thing. And they might run away with my spear in them. As that one is doing right now. I want the spear back. I want the spear back. Oh, it's it's dead. Surprisingly, it was dead. It wasn't acting like it was dead, but apparently... It, can things bleed out in this game? Is that a thing? It definitely crawled away from me, and then it was dead. I've never seen that happen before. Huh. Interesting. There we go. Full belly in. No time flat. Now where's my rock? There's my rock. We're going back. We're going back. Which way is back? Up. Okay. Here's where I got the colored pearl. Wonder why it is, and sometimes you run into rooms like that. Like, not... Like, within the world, I wonder why it is that you run into <laughs> rooms like that that are filled with data pearls. Just in the middle of nowhere. Haven't seen a data pearl for screens and screens and screens, and suddenly here, there's four of them. Seems like there'd have to be a reason that they gathered there, but I don't know what it is. Did this music play the first time I came through here? Oh, it's fairly brief. Maybe I wouldn't have noticed if it had. Okay. Oh, the lizards. And a giant centipede! Great! Yeesh. He's just brutalizing that lizard, poor thing. There, have that. Gonna rest. It looks like it hasn't moved much, so I should be able to get my spear back out and stab again. Wow, that is it is congested over there. Oh hi. Okay, all the centipedes are going to the left. That's okay. This mole lizard is extremely electrocuted. Two of them. That's what the problem was. There were two of them. It had to do it twice because there were two of them. Never mind. What is this? What are you? Oh no, you are. That is another mole lizard. Okay. The mole lizards just had a bad day. Okay. There we go. Rock and spear and go. All right. So if we're not going this way, then what way are we even going? Apparently it's been too many cycles since I was here. It's taking forever to remember. That centipede sounds close. We good? Well, there was a hibernation chamber down near the bottom, but then I didn't find any place else near there to go. There might be some, though. Oh, hi, scavengers. Hello. I guess I should just make my way down again. And maybe hug the right wall this time? I'm unsure. I'm unclear. But I'm also not yet asking just for directions, so... <laughs> we may get there. We may get there, but for now, I'd like to try and find it if I can. Okay, we got lizards. Apparently a scavenger died here. You can tell by the leftover lantern. Hi. Just excuse myself. Have I gone that way? Yes, I have, but it does go down further, which is where I'm trying to get at the moment. Although it has nothing to do with hugging the right wall, not doing very well in that aspect right now. Perhaps I should move to the right. Remember that running on your hind legs is risky around here.
This is a dead end, isn't it? Absolutely it is. Okay, let's go further down. Ah. Okay. I guess we go... Oh, hey, Gooey Duck. I'll take that. My phone thought that when I said, Oh, hey, Gooey Duck, that I was talking to it. Oh, I got a full stomach. That's the problem. <laughs> what am I doing? Wasting clams. That's what I'm doing. I wonder if you can use a gooey duck interchangeably with a rock. Probably not, huh? You just have to bite through the shell, which suggests that the shell is pretty firm, you know? So I feel like it wouldn't feel good if someone threw it at your face. Okay, try and go in right here. Have I been this way at all? This doesn't look particularly bad. Traversable is the problem. Oh. Okay, that's the rain. Okay, we're going. We're going. We're going over to the to the shelter. We got to go to the shelter right now. Right now. Do I remember how to get there? Not really. Let's just try not to panic. Hi. Hi. Not right now, please. Yes, I know. The rain is coming. I agree. Uh, do we go this way? Yes, I think. Hi! Stop! Where the heck did you even come from? <laughs> just start to go in a passageway and a big spider just grabs onto my face. Great, thank you. Perfect timing. Exactly what I wanted. I'm too tired to climb into the shelter. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right. I don't know where you're headed right now. What happened last time? On a normal Survivor playthrough, there are also white salamander lizards. Sharky's on his quest to see a see pipe yard and kill a red centipede. Oh, the subterranean albino leviathan is guaranteed spawn. Yeah, he's always there. He just lives there. Sometimes you just don't aggro them, or they're in their off-screen den. I think he landed that spear in an unarmored centipede part, so it killed it in one instead. I'm pretty sure the shell pieces on normal centipedes are just cosmetic. Armor will be especially relevant if you manage to find a red. Crits do exist, though. How's the food quest been going, by the way? I haven't seen the last stream or two. I, all I have left is the red centipede. That's all that's left, as far as I can tell. Uh, admittedly... Oh, hey, look at that. The little icons for the centipedes do change based on their size. Interesting. So, as far as... All that it looks like in the uh, list is just a centipede, but since it is just a standard centipede, it has to be a red, because I've killed and eaten basically every other variety. Except for the aquapedes. I've only ever seen one of those. He's on step 22 of 22. Only needs an aquapede or red now. Yep. Hey, Geoduck. Yes, Sharky. <laughs> He's crafted them before, but I don't know if he remembers the recipe. I hear you. I hear you. Disgusting slight spoilers. Don't mind us. We have made sure to keep you in the dark. No light from Prometheus for thou. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate your consideration. <laughs> what the? What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? Get out of here. I mean, I'll eat it, but what the heck? I didn't carry that with me. How did the dead spider follow me into the... What the heck? I'm so confused. It's convenient, I guess, but what the heck? All right, all right, all right. So where the... Where am I going? Where is there to go? That felt like a dead end when I was over there. I, didn't see, I, could, I could climb up a little bit of the side of it, but I... Uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's traversable. I should go back. Maybe it's traversable. I should go back. Rock. Okay, let's have a look here. Because you can grab this and grab... And grab this. <sighs> grab this. <sighs> grab it. Okay, come on. You have to grab it and then push to the right, I think. Grab... No? The problem is that even if I do this, I think it's then, I'm then stuck. There we go. Okay. Yeah, there, there's a gap. Okay. So I guess I have to... That's probably not going to be high enough. No. I would need a... I would need a stock of spears in order to climb up here. And I'm pretty sure there is not that here. Normally a passageway, they want you to be able to ascend vertically 
they leave a bunch of spears nearby, and in this case, there don't seem to be that, so... I'm thinking this is not where I'm trying to get. But where is where I'm trying to get? Let's try looking over there a little bit further up. If possible. That's a wall. Go in here. Ah! <laughs> yes, I see. There isn't much point in climbing that, but there might be something to the right, if I can get there. That's a long jump. I can't see where I'm going, either. If I can get onto those poles on the ceiling, though, can I? I can't. We could try a, a spear launch. That's not... no good. I splatted directly into the wall. It's too high for that. Okay. Well, that is frustrating, but uh, not unexpected. Also, my spear is gone now. We'll need another one of those. So what now? If that does go somewhere, I don't know how to get there. It might be a situation where you have to throw a spear into the wall and then climb up there to the right. But this also might not be where I'm trying to get in the first place. Hurrah! Okay, so... Where's a place I haven't gone? When I was in this shelter, I was told I was getting close. Over here goes into more of that. When I was over here, I was far away. Equidistant from when I was here. So it's got to be somewhere connected to this. Somewhere. But there aren't that many places to go here. Huh. Well, let's look for a spear for now. Tasty. Something's moving over there. Probably a lizard. It's usually a lizard. No spears, though, huh? I guess that's not too surprising. It always seems weird when spears do show up in a place like this. Hi! I wish I could rock things to death. <laughs> oh, hi. Have I been up there? Absolutely yes, but I don't seem to know where it goes. Wait, yes I do. Hmm. Huh. Goes somewhere. That's the passageway was where I wasn't sure how I got into it in the first place. Wait, I already that's the, the hopping on the tires. I did is that the is that a, is this a different set of tires? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Great, we're dead. Well, in that case... <laughs> Spider entered at the cycle's end. Call that breakfast in bed. Uncomfortable bed. Filtration system at its worst. At least he's got the neuron light. Good luck on Red Centiquest. I got a dip. Be back in a bit. See you later, Felix. Thanks for stopping by. That's a tough jump. That jump, I think, could have barely been made if you press jump right at the ledge. It'd be easier to spear ledge grab. You can rock things to death. It just takes ages and ages. Yeah, sometimes on far jumps, I'll just long jump and throw a spear into the wall and create a platform, then come back with another spear. Boost. Pole planted. Indeed, I was. Okay. Well, given that I have another cycle to try... Hello. Given that I have another cycle to try, I may as well go and see if I can do that jump again. Who are you? Scavenger. Okay, that's fine. I want to go up. I wish to go up. Like so. Grab a rock. And up here. Okay. Get to the edge of that, I need to... Ah! I need to go up here. Then we go this way. Then we 
jump up here. Up here. Okay. Wish I could see what I'm doing here better. But it's directly in front of me. Do you think I can throw the spear from here and get it in there? That's a no. What the? Why? What was that? Wait, I'm unconscious. Why am I unconscious? What happened? Something knocked me out for a second. What is that? Something is hunting me, but what? What is that? What is this? I'm being drugged, aren't I? That's why I went unconscious, isn't it? I'm, I'm unconscious now. There's something over there that can hunt me. But it, it isn't killing me. It's just trying to... What is that? What... What is that? Ah! Gross. That's really gross, though. Hang on. I can use my brain to try and figure out what's over there. I can't see it. It's a spider. Spitter spider. Didn't y'all mention one of those once? It's like a worse spider, isn't it? Why is it not coming over and trying to kill me when I, it knocked me unconscious? That's a really weird quest, real weird thing that it's doing. Huh. <laughs> well, that complicates matter, doesn't it? As if this jump wasn't bad enough already. Now there's that thing over there. And my only spear is what I need to use to make the jump. Okay, well. I threw the spear. It vanished into nothingness. It didn't make an impact noise. I guess it must have skidded along the ground. I'm not sure. Hi. Watch out for the spider up there. It seems to be bad news. You're not listening. That's fair. Well, thank goodness I'm interacting with that spider in a way where it can't really do what it wants. Cause, okay, hi. Because I would imagine if I wasn't on the far side of a chasm from it, it would have a lot harder... I mean, it would have be a, a lot easier time just murdering me. I have to assume. There we go! Spear implanted into the wall. Now I need another spear so I can make it to that spear so I can get across this passageway and get eaten by a spider. Okay, these scavengers are fighting something. I am inclined to let them do what they want. There's a spear in there, but I can't have it, can I? No, because that chamber doesn't connect to anything. Great. Why would you put a spear in there if I can't have it? That's very unkind. Would you not? Would you not? Apparently he would not. What the heck? I don't understand spiders sometimes. <laughs> I didn't even hit him with the rock, and he was still like, no, okay, I'm leaving. I need another spear. Who has a spear for me? Who has a spear for me? A rock is fine, but I need a spear. I could probably launch using just a rock, but it probably won't be as effective as a spear, yeah? I guess I could try it and... If all else fails, I could try it. Hmm. Starting to get fairly far away from where I'm trying to get. That may be a bad thing. I also haven't eaten enough. Also, no spears at all. None spears. Okay. Let's just go back. We'll try it with a rock and maybe it'll work. Maybe it'll work. Through the wall here? Not through the wall here. How does one get back there? Oh, and underneath, right. There we go. Hi. Hi there. I'm a chieftain. I could probably... 
Pardon me. Thank you. You don't need to. It's fine. Don't freak out. It's fine. You weren't using it. You're just digging through the ground. It's fine. Promise. You'll be, you'll be fine. How many spears does one person need, honestly? I'm just redistributing the resources in an equitable fashion. You'll come to appreciate my way of thinking eventually. Is the spider still here? Or is that the thing that dropped down and then tried to bite me and I was like, nah, stop it, and then it did for some reason? Not sure. Okay. Okay! Okay, I'm here! How the heck am I supposed to get that? I don't think I am supposed to get that. Let's just... Let's just go. I'm here. I'm, I made it. What's my prize? What have I accomplished? I hope there's food over here, because if there's not... Okay. Put a spear in him. Going to go unconscious. I'm unconscious. I'm unconscious. Get up. Wake up. He drugged me like several times. I'm down for a good long time. Apparently if you get hit with more than one of those, it does compound. How good do you think they're, they are to eat, though? Oh, hey, it's one of the big fuzzy ones. I've eaten one of these before. I just didn't know what I was eating. Huh. Well, anyway. Cool, thanks. All right. I need a rock. I got a rock. Thank goodness my throwing arm is amazing, by the way. I was out unconscious for a very long time just now. Right there. Okay. A zone transition. A zone transition. Just go. Worst case scenario, I can find a place to rest on the other side and come back. No, worst case scenario, I die and then we're not over there anyway. But this might be what I'm looking for. And if it's not, well, I still want to know where it goes. Uh. Why is it so dark in here, even though I have the neuron flag low? I wonder. I'm unclear. This looks exactly like the place I just came from. Oh, but there's a lot more water. Okay, cool. My favorite. I love water zones. Also, I can't help but notice that it's not telling me the name of the zone yet. It wants to keep it a secret. Well, I better hurry. There's not much time. I need a shelter badly. Well, this does appear to be a pipe. Should I take that to be a good sign? Maybe. Okay. Take it easy. There you go. Was that a... No, it's a rock. Okay. Can't help but notice there hasn't been a rest chamber yet. Seems like a long way to go into a zone before giving me a rest chamber. There's the rain, by the way. Could really use rest chamber. That's a thing I've never seen before. I think. Oh, hey! It's these things! The things that I accidentally alchemically created. And then I didn't need to go hunting for them. I finally found one! Hooray! I don't remember what they're called. I would stop and eat them, but, uh... Yeah, <laughs> the rain is nearly upon me. I really need a rest zone. Really, really need one. Come on. Oh, you don't you even. Oh, don't you even. What is this? Okay. Maybe I go up. Maybe I go up. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Rest. 
Resting? Okay. Come on. Come on. You gotta give me a freaking... Yeah! Yeah, okay. That's what I wanted. Now I just have to get there. Now I just have to get there. Just have to get there. We're almost there. Okay, how do I get up there? There's a pole right in front of me. Okay. There's the rain. There's the rain! You gonna tell me the zone name now that I'm resting in it? Please? No? Maybe not. It's fine. We're here. We're in. Wherever we are, we're here. I really need my right lower eyelid to stop thinking there's something in my eye. That's one of the spitter spiders. That's what that symbol is. Apparently they're reddish. I can't tell, it's very dark. The nomad, the wanderer, the hunter, sure, sure, sure. Okay, cool. How are you all doing? Oh, whoa, red spider. Spooky black lizard. Oh, red. You got nailed by a red spider. They're a pain. Paralyzing pricks. I hate them, too. This is probably the most atmospheric place to fight them. Red spiders can also show up in the leg, too. I'm surprised you never saw one back then. They also show up impromptu via the legacy system if you kill green ones a ton. Neat. <laughs> nice fear. Spiders scare easy. They're ambush predators, first and foremost. Luckily, I think the spiders are not trying to hunt you since you got light on you. That's a very good point. I keep forgetting that. Red spider was just like, ah, bright, get away. This guy was like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> Nicely jumped. Thank you. Nice. The prize is pain. That was close. The prize was a red spider. Good reaction time. Hooray! Sump tunnel time, I think. Welcome to Pipe Yard! Oh yeah, this is just filtration system. Director's cut. Lily Puck! This may have been a slightly poor decision going this way. He wanted to get in. It's true. Never let conventional pathing deter you. This is where I wanted to go. And you may note, it's filled in the blank, uh, the blank spot in my list of zones I have been to. So yes, this was the last one. Now mind you, I don't know if there are red centipedes in here. But I've still never seen a red centipede, so it's pretty hard for me to say at this point. What I do know about this place is that it's supposed to connect all the way to the west to all the way to the east. So, I mean, worst case scenario, we just run east for a year and a half, and then we can visit Moon. <laughs> and then I can figure out what I want to do about the red centipede, perhaps. Okay. Okay. This seems to be a rather unforgiving zone, huh? Haven't seen much hostile here yet, but I'd imagine that is going to change. Oh! I'm up. I'm fine. Okay. Okay. So we're going up. Something is here. It is a mole lizard. Okay. That's fine. I'm guessing it's going the correct direction. Or going a correct direction, anyway. Hmm. This way. Fruit! Hmm. That's inconvenient. <laughs> it's just too high up for me to do anything about it. I dropped my rock in a hole. Hmm? Yeah, you probably did hear that, didn't you? It's a shame, that. Yeah, you probably did hear that, didn't you? Oh, boy. Turning around. Okay. That was not what I wanted to do. That was, abs that was the opposite of what I wanted to do. But I'm alive, somehow. I don't have a spear, and I'm exhausted. What's worse, my spear is stuck in the wall, so I can't even go get it. All right, well, I definitely heard that. There's not a spear here, though. Lizard is back. Other lizard is here. All I want is for you to go away. Just go away or I'll sit on you again. Third one. It's almost like I'm being too noisy in here or something. Okay, so they're fighting. That third one went away. I need to go somewhere else. Ah! Easy there. Okay. Going the 
this way. A lizard is there and stuck. I'm guessing my spear stuck in the wall is actually causing problems for it. And I'm dead. Yep. I hit it in the face with a rock, but it turns out it's hard to flip a lizard when they're inside a pipe. I can't imagine we'll find too many pipes here in the pipe yard, huh? The only red centipede I know is in the garbage wastes mentioned before in a previous stream. I mean, he could just be a kill a ton of red gear centipedes by a centi den. A few cycles later, there will be one. Provided you get lucky with the lineage wheel. Yeah, fair. Pretty sure once they go higher strength, they don't go back to lower strength. How did that black lizard not attack? Lizard forgot how to lizard. I love how there's always a chance for creatures to mess up. It is, it is pretty great. I do appreciate it. Since I'm going to mess up all the time, it's only fair. That's not true at all. It wouldn't, they wouldn't have to make it fair at all. This is Rain World. They need not be fair. That spear that was here at the beginning of the cycle last time is not anymore, so I go forward unarmed. Still don't have a good understanding of what I'm doing here in terms of directional, like wh where is the way forward? <laughs> I don't yet understand. Could try going this way. Strangely, this really does just feel like the ventilation system again. There's way too many lizards here. <laughs> There's far too many lizards here, and that one's doing a spin. Look at him go. They're coming this way. Why are they coming this way? Can They, they can climb up the wall, maybe. Can they? They don't act like they can climb up walls. Do they hear me? There's three of them here now. This seems like it can't be a coincidence, but what, what? How did it come to this? <laughs> I don't know if they can even leave. If they can't climb the walls, they definitely can't leave, in which case they're stuck down here with me, in which case we're all stuck here forever until I get eaten. <sighs> what do I even do? Yeah, hi. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I threw a rock. It did not hit them. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm back down to the normal levels of karma. Look at me go. The original tree. I would imagine this will not be the lowest that we go at this juncture. Hello again! I see you're here again! Why are you here again? I'll just follow him very slowly. Okay. You're going up. And then down. So far, so good. Okay, there's lizards. Nah! Eat this. Okay. It did look like there was a, a rod here to grab onto. Fortunately, there is. It's hard to tell with all this foliage. But I... That's not what I... I mean, it's fine, but hi! Okay. Uh, so apparently you can come through the top of this chamber. And that's presumably how you have to go in order to get that. But I don't know how to get there, so I guess let's just follow that lizard. What could go wrong? Oh, why? Why, though? His whiskers were touching me. How did he not know I was here? Just go. Thank you. Okay. I'm all right. Against all odds, I'm still all right. That's not going to be traversable. This one is not either, but this one's got a pole. There goes a lizard. Does Pipe Yards not get a screen that tells you where you are when you get here? Is it just this forever? 
and it's a bad enough time where they're just like, yeah, just deal with this. This is your new reality. Safari region. Great. I did it. I don't know if it was worth the detour, but I took the detour. So, good. Grab a second rock. It's not like you have a spear anyway. So we can go to the left or we can go to the right. Right has five million lizards in it. So why don't we try going left? Then we jump to this and go up. And it's a dead end, isn't it? Absolutely it is. Okay. Okay. Back we go. The lizard who was blocking the passageway has climbed down that pole. Off he goes. Godspeed, brave lizard. I would just drop down this face first and speed this up, but I suspect that someone would hear that, and that would seem to be a bad thing right now. Because for whatever reason, there are zero spears here. And as long as there are zero spears here, I can't really deal with any attention. I'm here now. Pipe Yard. I fi it finally gets an a title screen. We're in Pipe Yard. Don't get eaten. I want to eat you first. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hunt me. Hunt me. Thank you. Whew, okay. Yeah, I need to eat a lot. <laughs> Hadn't been finding much food lately, so I figure I gotta take what I can get, you know? Hi. That's the second spear. You know what that means. You know what that means. Yeah, that's right. Okay. I wish I could eat those. Wait, are you still alive? You're still alive. Because you're a red one, and red ones are stronger, maybe. Anyway, I have another one. I think that pretty much did you in, yes? But now I don't have a spear. And there's a lizard. open space between me and the lizard and that is another lizard that's a white lizard here take this take that too big for you you'd rather eat me of course you would scavengers hi scavengers watch out for the lizard that was over there Watch out for the lizard that's behind me as well. I don't have a weapon. Yes, yes, you're throwing things. I'm, I'm leaving. Excuse me. Pardon me. I'm sure you can take him. That's a uh, red. I think. I think. Did I just get knocked unconscious by the... <laughs> it touched the water. That's a red, all right. That's a red, all right. That's a red, all right. And we're dead. Okay, okay. Found a red. Found a red. Wow, it's efficient. Okay, well. Dinner is apparently served. I just have to, you know, do the work necessary to eat it. You're at the very bottom of Pipe Yard, so good luck climbing up. Not armed in arms, but armed in girth. Black Lizard Mosh Pit. They do have excellent hearing, even more than centipedes. By the way, you're extra resistant to instantly dying to lizard bites. St stick it out once they grab you as Gourmand, and they might let you go somehow. Tanky enough to the point where Gourmand can even survive a spear throw. Is that so? I've never seen that happen. If a spear lands in your gut rather than your head, sometimes you can survive and you'll just have a spear sticking out of you. <laughs> it's a real no chance, though, I think. It looks very funny. Red centipede, just what you need. It's true. Here we are. Okay. My karma is not going to be happy with this situation. Oh, right, I have to start from here every time, don't I? That's not great. All right, keep an eye out for spears. I'm gonna need one, at least one. If I'm taking on a red, I'm probably gonna need more than that, but... That's well, a place to start, anyway. Plus, if I get a spear, I can eat some mole lizards and, you know, ostensibly have some way to rest if I ever find a place to rest again. Since 
apparently I need to pass the red centipede in order to uh, get to the next rest station, as far as I can tell. There's a spear there. There's a spear in the passageway. Hey, look at that. Rock and spear. Ready to go. I suppose I could try combining a fruit with a rock and see if I get anything interesting. It's not going to be a bomb. But I don't know how well a bomb would work on a centipede anyway. So, there's that. Mm, plus, I'd have to drop my spear at this point in order to grab the fruits. Yeah. Keep moving. Right, this is a dead end, isn't it? No, it's not. You can go this way. Okay. Hi! 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 You sure do like them screen transitions, eh? Very convenient for you. All right, try again. Yes, I probably should have waited it out, but uh, we weren't heading in the direction of other mole lizards, so I felt like I could say with some confidence that I was about to die. Now, to find a way to kill it. Yes, that is the question. And I really would like a, a rest station that's closer to it also, if possible, but, uh, well, that's never a guarantee. Spear. Nice. Okay. Double spear. And the lizard that's normally here isn't here, which is good for the lizard, but bad for me. Sounds like scavengers are fighting. Hello? Hello? Are you following me? No, you're not. You were too busy fighting. Okay. Making noises. Eating food. Wow. I was on zero pips of food. I had no idea I was quite that starving. Well, that's good to know. My spear is down there amongst the writhing lizards. Unless they push it away. I think that's the thing they can do. Nope, it's there. I just made a noise. I just made a noise. I just made a noise. It would be nice if one lizard would come here, and not five of them. One lizard I can probably kill. Five lizards is too many. hear that, did you? What are you going to do about it, hmm? What are you going to do about it, huh? That's two lizards. But I did get one. Nope. Resting, 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 stabbing! Okay. Okay. Need my spear back. And I need to eat you. That's another spear, thank you, but not right now. That's another spear, but thank you, not right now. Grab the lizard. Eat the lizard. Great. Okay, got spear. Need rock. Where'd my rock go? There it is. Okay. Are you coming down here? No, you're not. Okay. Or if you are, I have, still have some time. Oh, you are, but I still have some time. Just push you down there. That made noises, but it wasn't me making the noises. So you shouldn't follow me, plus you're stuck on the corpse of your compatriot. What a shame. Okay. To here, across, and up. Across, and down. And then we go over here. up and to the right so this is the place where we get the zone transition to actual pipe yards keep an eye out for other ways to go can you go to the right you absolutely cannot 
Can you see the centipede from here? No, because it's in the next room. I have to deal with that thing first. Somehow I'd forgotten about you. That's why I didn't have a spear when I got to the centipede. Man, what do I do about you? Got, his, got my spear back. Got my spear back. Stabbed him in the face. Seems to have entirely retreated. See if I can get my breath back. There we go. Good. Okay. Okay. Is the centipede there? Don't see it right now. If you step in the water, it can zap the water and knock you unconscious. This I've learned. It's not here. A lizard is here. I made a noise. Lizard noticed. I think it's coming for me, probably. It's not. Okay. Let's go left. And there's a rest zone. What do you know about that? Okay, okay. Let's not let's not quibble about this. Let's just go. Let's just rest. It would be better if I had more food in my stomach, but presumably if I manage to kill a red centipede, it's going to have a lot of meat on it. And it seems that it might not have a set location, so I'm going to have to go find it. So this could take a while. Plus, chances are, most times when I go and find it, it's going to just kill me. So, ought to be a good time. Red centipedes are heavily armored. If only they had a weakness. The black lizards, I mean. Mm. <laughs> Do they? Beyond just stabbing them in the body? Hmm. I would imagine they find firecrackers pretty disorienting, since they uh, are entirely sound-oriented. But I ain't got one of those. Check your brain. Is the centipede over there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's try going up. Something's making noises over yonder. Something went that way. I wonder what it was. Oh, hi. Scavenger. So what happens if I do combine a fruit and a rock? We get a flashbang. Okay. The flashbang plus another fruit? Goop. Huh. Slime mold. Alchemy. It's weird. Yes, I just ate it. It's fine. Um, robotic arms hanging from the ceiling. Hmm. It seems like that's got to be the way forward, doesn't it? This place is inconvenient to traverse, isn't it? Okay, so I guess I have to just jump. Ha! I failed to jump! I'm here now! Hello, scavenger. How are you? Please don't take my stuff. Oh, I don't have stuff. Never mind. I was going to free up a hand so I could get this thing, but I don't need to. So the scavengers are just here scavenging. So the red centipede is not here for sure. And I guess that's fine. Let's go try that jump again and actually jump this time. I do consider it a positive that it appears that red centipedes don't have a new special attack, as far as I can tell. They just are deadly efficient with bringing their... Hi! With bringing their rear end up to do you in. Their other head, you know. Hi. Ow! Stop it! Was that lizard your friend or something? Honestly, what the heck? If so, I'm sorry. Hey, look, another one. 
And a monster kelp. Cause why not? Don't don't eat my lizard. That's my lizard. I'm going to eat that lizard and nobody else. No, it's mine. No, it's mine. There. Now you can have it. Did you actually take it? Yeah, you actually took it. Ha! Now I'm going. Free passage. Well, not free passage, but you know. Another lizard. And I'll never rock. And another lizard. Why are there so many lizards here? And the kelp's back, right? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I keep thinking that these elements of the backdrop are walls, and they're absolutely not. I'm real sorry. I'm real sorry. Am I still hungry? I am. Okay, now go. That's real inconvenient that the Red Centipede's location isn't consistent, huh? So I'm just going to hunt throughout the zone until I find one? Seems like. That's awkward. I hear centipedes. I think. Ah, yes, babies. Drowning babies! Oh, no, they're just using their electric shocks to kill the bat flies. Because they eat them. If I go down there, I can't get back up again, huh? But I can go back up around and this way. That's just a long way around. Maybe. Can't tell. Let's poke around up here a little bit further. See if there's anywhere you can go. There's not! Asked and answered. Okay. Guess I have to go down. Fine, I'm down. Fancy music. Excuse me. Centipede's just dropping from the ceiling. It's very dark here. Can't imagine trying to navigate this place without a neuron fly in your system. Mole lizard, bunch more pipes. Let's try the top passageway. If that's even possible. You have to use a spear, don't you? Maybe I can... There we go. Didn't I see a thing in the ceiling up here? Where did I see that? Making stuff up? It would be nice if you wouldn't mix things up. Are you actually hunting me? You don't look big enough to hunt me. No, there's a thing up here. Hi. Vulture? What's a vulture doing down here? Is this zone just going to be absolutely everything that's awful? Just everything is here? The Smash Brothers of Rain World? Well, that's a jump. Okay. Whoo. Whoo. This does seem to be a long way up I'm going. Uh, is that not a... There we go. <laughs> Just sort of mashing my face into the wall, not accomplishing anything. Yeah. Bye. Apparently the middle shaft goes a long way down. So presumably if I fall into it at any point up here, I'm just dead. Okay, you need to go up. Can you not go up from here? Okay. Then we need to go in <laughs> up here. There we go. Snail. And a passageway. 
Genuinely, how did that vulture get all the way down there? What possibly drove it to go all the way down this passageway? Also, the rain is here. One of these side passages probably has a shelter. I'm going to try the one on the left. If it's not the one on the left, I'm dead. Probably. That might, it might not be dead yet. How do you get into the passage on the left? Hang on, how do you get... In? Oh, you don't. You have to go to the passage on the right to get to the passage on the left. Okay. Well, I'm glad I recognized that before I went in. Egg bug? Hi. Hello. Yes, I'm terrifying. How do I get into the passageway on the right? I don't. Okay. Well, that's not good. Why do you have all these passageways I can't go in, huh? What's the deal with that pipe yard? Oh, come on, you can do it. Vulture. Entirely unnecessary vulture. Hi. Genuinely unsure what you're doing here. Glad you're not a king, though. No! Okay. Okay. Come on, shelter be in there. Come on, give me a shelter. Give me shelter before I fade away. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shelter. Give me a shelter. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're in. We're in. We're in. Uh, I, gotta, I just got to make it up there. Got to go up there. Up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there before the rain. Get up there before the rain. You can do it. Yes. We're in. Okay. This place is rough. Hasn't even been that much trying to kill me yet, but it's still rough. Look at all the dead lizards. Like a tiny rainbow. I love how we've slowly gone from, oh no, scavengers, to, oh hey, scavengers. I mean, that's because they like me now. <laughs> It makes all the difference in the world if they like you or not. Because if they don't like you, they'll just throw rocks at you, even if they're not trying to kill you. But now they like me, so it's okay. I think you nicked that scavenger spear, so he threw a rock at you out of annoyance. I mean, yeah, probably. Carefully with doing that too, but much by the way, it lowered scavenger reputation by a decent amount. Yeah, but I needed a spear real bad. <laughs> Vulture says, greetings. I'm here for my daily underground bath. You, I'm hankering for a red bug feast. Hello, I'm back, and I see we've made it to Pipeyard. Surprisingly, there's pipes here. <laughs> Sometimes for vultures, the question is not what they should do, it's what they can do. Dang, it looks like Sharky met a red judging by chat, and I missed it. Dang, I'll have to go back. He got shocked. I did. Wasn't too far back, but um, tsh, I didn't intend that to be a joke, but I'm rolling with it. Indeed. Yeah, it was just sort of hanging out on the path of the first, uh, like the second, the second rest area here in the pipe yards. And when I went back, it wasn't there. So I don't know where it is. Presumably it's around here somewhere. I've heard they wandered the zone, and this is one of the biggest zones in the game. So I've heard those two things, so I may be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Drop wig. Missed. Wish I hadn't. It is now guarding my spear specifically. Waiting for me to go back for it. Okay, well, let's see if I can find another spear over here. What do you know about that? Okay, let's see here. Do you suppose if you throw a rock underneath them, they'll jump on it? Nope. They're not quite that stupid, huh? Unfortunate. Oh! I should have kept my rock. Let's go get another rock. I'm gonna do alchemy with purpose. Watch me now. Alchemy! Bam! Okay. They're visual hunters. They have to be, since they're ambush predators. I mean, they wouldn't have to be, but it would be pretty dumb to be that kind of ambush predator and not be visual, so I'm counting on this to working. Let's see if it works. Absolutely did nothing! Yeah! Okay. Great, well. Whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. 
I recognize, by the way, that I want to check out these passages underneath me here, so it really doesn't matter that the drop wig is there, but I don't trust a drop wig being anywhere near the most clo the, the closest um, shelter I'm aware of. Uh, do you see those arms go? It's like, oh, here it comes. Oh, oh, he's coming. Yeah, yeah good job. <laughs> that could have gone a lot worse <laughs> than it did. Oh, there's a centipede coming. Better eat this before I need to move. Great. <laughs> I'm happy that worked out as well as it did. Egg bugs! Look at all the egg bugs. My goodness. I suppose I really didn't need to eat the drop, drop wig in that case. I don't think I've ever seen two egg bugs in the same room. That's not true. I think I have seen that. But it seems unusual. Hello. Curious about the passage in the bottom right, but let's check this one first. Centipedes. Based on their map icons, all orange. Don't know if I can trust that. Give me that back. Give it back. Thank you. Eat them. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's an orange. All right, they're all oranges. I'm gonna look around anyway, though, on the basis that where there's some centipedes, there might be other centipedes. I have no idea if that's how it actually works. Reds may be an entirely different thing also. They seem like they're just giant oranges. So it may be that they would hang around where there are other oranges, but honestly, I don't know. They're big enough where it seems like they probably dominate the ecosystem wherever they are. Do not! Don't be an idiot. Yeah, you just convulse for the rest of time. Have fun with that. If I go down, I can't go up, so... Going up first. What a nice room! Do I have any reason to go through here? No, this is a one-way. From the right, if you drop into the pool, you can take this passage out to the left and escape. Maybe. Actually, I don't know where that passage goes. Oh, I don't know where that passage goes. It goes up. But either way, if I go in there, I can't get back out. Poor centipede. This corpse is getting tossed by the hidey hole for... Well, I guess it's done now. That's fine. Onward. Baby centipedes. Hello. You know, actually, I do have a little bit of room in my stomach. Consume, baby. Done. Okay. I mean, I do see why it's called Pipe Yards. This is not actually a passage through, is it? It is. Okay. There's a passage up. We're halfway through the cycle. I wasn't expecting it to be nearly so vertical, since I was expecting it to go all the way out east of the coastline. But I suppose even the, co the coastline was substantially above the subterranean, so I guess that does make sense. Anyway, may as well rest here, I guess. If the red does wander the entire zone, and I don't know that it does, but if it does, then I'm as likely to find it any place as any place else. It's all going to be down to luck, so I may as well just travel around and see what I find, you know? At least that's the way I see it. I might be wrong. Reds are very fast, and they love to explore. Well, hello, I'm back. Unu game. Some well, sort of. <laughs> Technically, been playing Rain World for a while now. Or, or rather, I played through the original game years ago and now we're doing the now we're doing the the DLC this is the first character in the DLC and we're getting close to the end of his quest but I have to find this one thing and it's evading me hmm. sometimes if you barely missed ambush priming dropwick they'll go like oh god this is a bad spot and dip out <laughs> that's amazing dropwick's is so funny egg bum yum passage tunnel get this junk out of my tunnel 
What is this game about? Surviving a world where it rains and you are a slug cat. The rain kills you, the creatures kill you, you are but a small beast. Slug cat is small and wants to live. Sharky is currently trying to hunt and eat a giant centipede. Pressing start on rail Rain World is the moment when you learn that you are not the enemy protagonist. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that about sums it up. You're just a tiny creature trying to make your way in a harsh and unforgiving world. And your goal is usually pretty opaque, but at this point, with this guy, we've figured out that his goal is to eat 22 specific things around the world, and I'm working on number 22 of that. The original game, you were attempting to escape the cycle of reincarnation. And eventually you do. I like the music here. We got Batweed. We got... This is starting to feel like the outskirts. Or the industrial zone. Probably the outskirts. Reminiscent of it, anyway. Probably gonna be vultures here, huh? Wow, look at all the bats enjoying the batweed. How convenient. Go ahead and have some bats. Even had bats in a long time. Not a full meal of bats, you know? You gotta eat a lot of bats to fill up this much slug cat. Aw, oh, we faded. Come here, you. Thank you for coming here. So what's up here? Let's see if there's a zone transition up here or if uh, this is just a bat hunting zone. Uh, it's hard to say. There's some robot arms up there. That does look like you can probably climb up it with a couple of spears, but it would take a concerted effort. Ah, uh, the allure of batweed. They cannot resist. You're free to go! Okay. Looks like that's what this room was for. It's eaten! And I have eaten, so let's go somewhere else. Scavenger. Hello. Let's just go down here. Just sort of slide down this enormous drill. Perfectly natural and normal. Centipedes to the left. How do I even get there? Not clear at the moment. Oh, you're kidding. I'm here. I see. I see. So if I want to get to the other side of the drill, I have to go through that chamber. You'd almost be better off going into that chamber from the bottom. From the left, rather. But I didn't know that at the time. Wow. Wow. And at this point, to go back is an investment. And there's a centipede on the far side, of course. That, too. Is the centipede hunting me? Kelp, eat him, 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 yeah, eat him, eat him, eat him, yeah, okay, now we go, now we go, now we go, no, 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 not like that, not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, all right, I'm here now. What is this passageway for? Oh, for getting back. Oh, you can get back. You have to go this way to do it. Okay, that's good to know. Ah. I'm guessing that's just the monster kelp has heard me before, and that's why the music is going like that. But I also thought I heard a vulture noise. Why am I having so much trouble with this? we got to jump off of this ledge to the drill and up. There we go. Now we go left. In here. Centipedes. Hello, centipedes. Don't mind me. I'm, t I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. Huh. Oh. I don't know if lying down actually helps you recover faster. I feel like it should. That's a big centipede, but that's not a big enough centipede. That is not a big enough centipede for my purposes. Let's just keep moving. Excuse me. 
This smells like vultures. This smells like vultures. Mm. Name for the weak segment. I knocked his armor off. Okay, you have to knock his armor off. You have to knock the armor off or else it's probably immune to damage. Great, I'm dead, I'm dead. I hit it with a rock. I hit it with a rock. Resting, 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 resting. Resting, resting, resting. Okay, where's my spear? 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 Oh, it didn't help, it didn't help. It didn't help. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, it's running. That's good, but also bad. I need a spear, or else I can't fight. Oh boy, I'm still not. I'm still not recovered. I'm still not recovered, and it's back. And it's gone again. Okay, 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 okay. Need my spear. Need my spear. Need my spear. Need my spear. Where did it go? It deflected off of its body. Where did it go? I didn't see where it went. Okay, hang on. It got me already. It caught me already, and I'm dead. Jeez. I wasn't even moving, and it still caught me. Can they see? Or maybe they just have incredibly good hearing. The indignity of, be of being centipede hunted is they don't even eat you. They just kill you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my slug cat corpse. It's mine. Why on earth would you go for the slug cat corpse? You're willing to try and steal it from a red centipede, but you don't want to try and eat the centipede. You just want to steal it. I would say lunch, but it's not lunch. It doesn't eat me. It just hangs out on my corpse. Anyway, how are you? Mmm. So, is your food that you ate your health bar? No, your health is not so much a bar as one. You have one health. <laughs> it's true. You need to eat a certain amount of things to rest, aka save, when food is what you need to hibernate. There's a minimum food requirement to save your progress in hibernation stations. Shelters. Ah, okay, kind of reminds me of a type of roguelike. Kind of, yes. Red, red, red. It's the same red, too. General tip for Rain World. If the place you are in does not have a roof, you are at risk of vulture. Being 100 feet underground does not lower your risks. Dang, you sat upon him with your mighty sit upon. Also, this music is pipe yards in, in, in pipe yards is banging. Introduce it to your mighty behind. Vulture hubris. Vulture versus red. The red will always win. Red centipede. No free meals. <laughs> So he's probably not going to be there again when I get back here, but we're going to try anyway. Man, I had a perfect shot against his open, like he, his entire side was open to me. It was a perfect opportunity to spear him. And I missed. I can't believe I missed. Anyway gonna fill up a little bit not much because the mission here is kill red presumably the red will fill up my stomach most of the way provided I you know live I will probably not I'll just eat these two fine gentlemen and then now you get you go free rock spear and we go Okay. It occurs to me I got incredibly lucky with this chamber over here, and I will not do so again, so maybe I should have gone the other way around and back through the backside. Well, we'll try it once from this side. And if I die here, if the kelp gets me, then we'll go back the other direction next life. dormant at the moment. Can't count on that lasting. Sliding, 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 slide. Jump! Oh, there's a drill in the way. The drill exists. That's bad for my prospects. Wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Wrong weapon. Now you're dead. Yep. 
I have difficulty telling which is in my throwing hand as I'm sliding down the wall, so I switched hands, and I was like, wait a second, that doesn't look right, so I switched hands again and threw the rock. <sighs> I gotta remember, I habitually keep my rock in my throwing hand, so if I want to switch to this spear, just switch hands and be confident that you've got the spear now. Because I always keep the rock in the main hand in case of lizard. Perhaps it would be wise to keep the spear in the main hand in case of everything else in the game and switch to this rock if I, you know, run into a lizard. But at the moment, I'm in this habit. Why, did we, why do I go this way again? <laughs> I don't know. Force of muscle memory? Not muscle memory, exactly. I just, I just died here, and therefore I came back. Ease your way in there. And throw. Okay, he's dead, but your spear is gone. So you need another spear. First order of business, find spear. First order of business, rest. Second order of business, find spear. Okay. Now. Up. <sighs> Up. Hello there. Did I happen to mention that I haven't found a spear yet? <laughs> Rock! Go get it! He's like, hey! This is a rock! What the heck, man? I was sleeping and everything. Okay, there's no rocks... There's no spears. <sighs> there was a rock up here. Let's get that rock. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Take that. I showed him. The music turned up. It's on to me. The jig is up. I'm tired. I wish I wasn't. Hi. Excuse me. Pardon me. Resting, resting, resting. Okay. You don't have a spear yet. Will there be one on the big open screen that used to have a red on it? I don't know. Doesn't look like there's a red here. I'm tired. Why am I tired? Vulture! But it's not chasing me. What's it after? The red is here! The vulture is dead. Everything's dead. Everything is dead! Uh, why are you so fast? All right, you. Okay, 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 okay. All right. He's so fast. He's so bloody fast. No, no, no touch. No, no touchies. No, no touchies. No, none touchies. Okay, okay. I don't have a spear. I don't have a spear, but I do have a butt. Use the butt. Oh, he's so fast. Oh, he's so fast. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. No, get off. No, get off. Rest, rest, tired, rest, tired, rest, tired. Duh. Resting. Okay, okay, hi, hi, excuse me, hello. Two rocks. Ah. Nah. Nah, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead, probably. Eh. <laughs> Don't touch me, thank you. Okay, so the red seems to be here at least consistently for the moment. So I need to figure out a way to get back here with a spear. Okay. Okay. I mean, sitting on him also works, but he's so fast, he climbs me up that pole as fast as I can get up there. Whew. Okay. Nya, nya, nya. Gourmand with his handful of bats. Decadence. What should we name this lug cat? Well, this one's name is Gourmand. Or at least that's his class. I don't know. Also, Darkus, is it true that, oh, that Gar Gourmand and Artificer are the only two skugs with confirmed genders? Kelped. Uh, I don't know the rest, but Artificer is definitely confirmed female. Right on. Regular bombs are very nice against red set pentabeads. Ice Cat, his name is Gourmand. There are two slug cats? There are 
at least eight slug cats. Because you start out with the survivor, and then there's the monk, and there's the hunter, and there's the gourmand, and there's the artificer, and then there's three more I haven't unlocked. <laughs> There are many. Each slug cat represents a different difficulty in world state. In the base game, there are three. Those ones, yes. Hunter might as well be time attack mode. It's true. But this is the DLC, which includes many new slug cats. And the only two Sharky is unlocked right now are Gourmand and Artificer. That's the true... That's true. It's red, red, red. His face all red. Guess you found the red centipede's hidey hole. Centipede, bad touch. This is stressful. Too many centipede. The vulture corpse. Yes. Just... Blah, 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 blah. Wow, are you actually... Oh, no, you went from... He got... Hey! Red Centipede got punked. All right, cool. Well, here's what the plan is. This is the plan. We take this stuff and we go back. We go back until we get to that room where the kelp was. And we go at the kelp from the left instead of the right, and then I don't have to spear it. And then we'll have a spear that we can put inside a Red Centipede. Maybe. That is the plan. Also, Ice Cat, you may have noticed, but my approach to chat in this game is kind of akin to what I was doing when I played, uh, oh, wow, look at all the centipedes. When I played, uh, I'm on observation duty. Duh, bah. Easy there. I have no business with you. Uh, in that, since it's such a deadly, oh no. This was a one way, you gotta be kidding me. Um,. This is such a deadly game that I don't try and I try not to check chat while I'm just trying to stay alive. I can't believe this. Okay, um, and so I'll check it whenever I'm in a shelter or I'm dead, <laughs> unless it's a special occasion. But this is also it, right? Because this is the way. If I went down, I couldn't go back. I remember noticing that now. <sighs> Hi. Have a rock. Have another rock. I'm dead. It's fine. <sighs> Epic vulture prank. As soon as you lose, vulture. See a sucker? The only early bird gets the skug. Good noise. Thank you. Okay, so we have to go the direction that has the kelp. Unless I use a passage to go back one shelter, and that seems real stupid. Now, admittedly, I do have six passages, and I haven't used any of them, so we may get to the point where I'm desperate enough that that is exactly what I do. But, at the moment, I'm going to try and just get efficient at dealing with this room. I don't want to fight a red centipede with my butt alone. Hey, there's a spear here, and I can't possibly use both. I can't possibly use both. Unless I... Okay, here's a thought. Okay, now there's one in the water down there. Now we take this one. Okay, now they're both in the water down there, and now I'm in, I'm in a lot of trouble. Yep. I did throw a spear at him, but I'm also tired, so it probably didn't actually do that much damage. We gotta just go. <laughs> What a life. Okay, let's get some rest. We've got rest. We've rested. We're good. Okay. We gotta go from here. Jump off that wall. There we go. What are the odds there will be a spear in here? From the looks of it, not high. Big enough to hunt me. I see rocks. Many rocks. No spears. Move over, babies. Come on. I don't want to eat you just to prove a point here. Come on. There we go. All right. Now we go here. Uh, we go here. Here. We go here. There we are. The big guy heard me anyway. Would you get out of the way? Run. Okay. Okay. Rock plus firecracker equal bomb. Okay. 
but there's still not a spear here. Is the red here? Of course not. Why would it be? Why would it be here? There's nothing here. Hello. I love that egg bugs do that that backflip freak out jump in the air thing whenever they see something that might eat them. They're like, whoa! <laughs> eh. At least I won't go hungry. Why though? Why is this necessary? They're fighting over the egg bug corpse, aren't they? Of course they are. Yeah, that's exactly what they're after. The green one's after me! The green one's after me! I'm dead! But it... No, it's alive. Of course it is. <laughs> I've thrown bombs at the faces of vultures before. I know they don't die from that. Should have switched hands, trying to knock his mask off or something. I don't know. And here we are at the bottom of the karma tree. It has been a while, but we'll probably be here for a while. The centipedes have electricity. Yes, they also have two heads. If they touch you with both their heads, they form a circuit and electrocute you. Yes, it is a very clever biological function. They can't just shock you. They just need to form, they need to form a circuit. Okay, you know what? I'm going to just say it. This is too many centipedes. Feels like it does take some time for the consciousness to shift between both ends of a centipede. Kind of like those whomp sticks that make the sound when you flip them. Oh, yeah. I know the ones you're talking about. Red Gorm. It turned into egg bug. Air, I shall vanish, cause my devices at 20%, so I bid you all fine night. Thank you for stopping by. Night, nice to see you. It was. The device demands nutrients. It does. It does. Okay. So, the red is not consistently there. That's great. But, I suppose the thing is that it might have a chance to be there anytime I come through. Based on how I under what I understand of this game... That is what I would expect. It probably has a random chance to generate in a number of spots. I don't know it to be true, but I suspect it to be true. There's a spear up there by the big centipede. That's not necessarily helpful. The kelp is vigilant. What if... Why didn't it react to that? Why didn't it react to that? Ah, oh, great. I just dropped my spear in the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on the bottom of the karma tree anyway. You can't hurt me. Genuinely, though, I knocked a rock into the wall of its chamber, then it just splashed into the water beside it, and it didn't even twitch. What gives? It seems like exactly the sort of noise they'd be waiting for. Well, I mean, it did make a rock noise when it hit the wall, I guess. I'm going to try it again. I feel like it should have worked. I don't know why it didn't. So from here, it didn't even react. I speared it, by the way. <laughs> Which is why it's dead and why I'm tired. <sighs> I'm gonna just check the bottom here, make sure there aren't any spears that I can't see. No, there's not. Got my rock back anyway. <laughs> Okay. So, there's a... S Hi. There's a spear one screen up, but I don't think I can get there? And if I do, there's a giant centipede waiting. And it's not giant enough for, for my purposes. Eh. Let's see here. Just make sure I can't make my way up here. Yeah, I can't. It's too wide. Okay. Is there a spear in here? Of course not. Is that big centipede in here? 
Why? Yes, it is. But it seems to not be wanting to chase, which is nice. I'm tired. If you could leave me alone, that'd be cool. He just crawled on my face. Yeah, thanks. Making another bomb, although it's probably not a good idea. Why am I tired again? Okay, I'm good. The music's like, are you aware? There's a centipede crawling on your face. Yes, I know. Thank you. Red's not here. Spear's not here. Vulture's not here yet. Probably will be soon. Hi. I'm tired again. <laughs> Why am I getting tired so often all of a sudden? Is it because I'm hungry? No. Mm, we got two ways I can go. Down goes to some place I've been before. You're kidding. I've been here? I've been here. I came in a big circle and I'm back. Then what's the way forward? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Also, I'm amazed that no, no vultures were like, hey, that guy's looking at his map. We should just eat him. Okay, well, there's a passageway over to the left there that I could take, possibly. Eh. But this is a one way. There's no coming back from this if I go this way. In fact, I'm already locked in, aren't I? I could probably get back over there. But I don't think I can get over here. Ah, I might have been able to, but I failed. Whatever. Okay, so I'm here now. Yeah, you probably can get across there. In fact, I probably did before. I just launched the center bit and then jumped to the... Jumped to the right. Okay, well, there's a spear. Two spears, in fact. Three spears, in fact. I guess that's nice. I... Making you need to hunt and eat a red centipede is actually really mean, isn't it? If their locations are this s unpredictable. And they're that deadly. Seems pretty mean to me. Well, I guess let's just eat some food and drag myself up from the bottom of the caramel ladder. Although, I don't know, it might not actually be a good idea. I wonder if it would be a better idea to just stay at the bottom of the caramel ladder and continue to go back to that spot where the red was, just waiting for it to show up again. That sounds boring to watch, but it also might be the most effective way of hunting a red. I don't know. I don't know. There's a point in the Pipeworks music that sounds like your start of stream music. Just enough that every time it comes around, I do an auditory double take. A friendly hello from a centipede. If you sleep somewhere else, you won't be stuck in a one-way. To be fair, you need a red centipede or an aquapede. Oh, that I'd need an aquapede. Oh, really? Really? Oh, well, that sounds a lot more doable. I mean, you have to fight underwater, which is a bad thing, and they're presumably just as resilient as... The airborne varieties, and I feel like with the wingpede, wingipede, I think something else actually killed it, didn't it? Well, didn't I find a dead one, and I just ate the corpse of the dead one? I don't remember now. In any case, if I want aquapedes, I need to go back to the coastline, and I guess that's so I should just continue working my way through the pipe yard. Why not? Who knows, maybe I'll run into the red again. At the very least, I can just about guarantee that when I get anywhere in the pipe yards, there's going to be a karma gate before I can go anywhere else. We got music. Is it because I'm hunted or... 
this just generic BGM because you're here. I wonder. Have I been here? No, but it's filled with snails. Oh, this is just, this is just welcome to pipe yards. We have BGM here. Cool. I haven't been in this room, but I think it probably dumps out there. That passageway that goes to the left there, that'd be my guess. Don't know for sure, though. In any case, I think I should not go this way. I think I should go in the third passageway. This one here. Okay. And we can, I can cram through that wall to get up there, which leads down to... Okay. This all goes places, yes. I'm going this way. Oh, we're back at the main shaft. And there's an... There's a drop wig right up there. How nice. Thank you for the warning. Um, okay, let's try going this way then. Because <laughs> I can't see the drop wig, and I don't know how far they're willing to drop. Probably pretty far. It's in the name, after all. Ah. Centipedes. There sure are a lot of centipedes here, huh? In the pipeworks. Hi. Sorry about your face. I'm just very hungry, you see. There we go. Hmm. Well, this definitely feels like backtracking. Is it connecting to anything I know about? Not yet, it isn't. Whoa, hi! Did not see you there. Uh, Dang it. I was trying to get away from him so I could do that safely. <laughs> but of course, he just had to run me down. <sighs> he wasn't even dead. It doesn't even do that much damage to him. Well, I guess that's actually good to know, though. That's actually really good to know. If I put a spear in a standard centipede, and then I put a bomb in that same centipede, and it's still not dead, then the reason I don't have much reason to use a bomb against a red, because it's not going to work. Good to know. You see an aquapete before I have. Yeah, it's another either or, like salamander or eel lizard. But aquapete is less dangerous than red. Yeah, it doesn't take much. I'd imagine most red things are extremely dangerous. In this game, anyway. Where did that big guy even come from? Just sort of was upon me. Have I tried going up here yet? I don't think I have. Let's try it. I'm having difficulty. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Wait. Yeah, I haven't been here. Okay. Let's see where it goes. A one way! There's a whole secondary column over here. There's the main column that I just clambered my way up, and now we're just going down over here. But this is a one-way. You can't go back up to... Well, let's just try it. Oh, is this... Yes, it is. This is halfway up the snail chamber, and now... Oh, hey. It's one of them robot arms. What you got for me, robot arm? I have learned about these plants. Great. Let's eat these plants. I'm also... I'm going to leave the bomb here. <laughs> I'm going to abandon the bomb. Because I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get myself killed again if I carry it around. I'm going to panic and throw it at something that is bearing down upon me and it will blow me up and I will have to go back again. This has happened almost every time I've tried to use a bomb on anything. So, this goes back to this passageway, which I suspected it might. Where does this lead, though? Let's go back far enough so I can tell. And then go back the way I was just looking at. I think this is probably just the way to get back on the main route, since you dropped down into that bottle. Yeah, oh, hey, that's actually an area I couldn't get to before, isn't it? No, it's not. I've been over there. Okay, that's all explored territory. Great, let's go this way. Mm. 
Nah. Yeah. There we go. More stuff to eat. All right. Oh, lizard! I did not see you there. I suppose that's the point, isn't it? That's exactly what you were going for, isn't it? Clever. Hmm. What do we do about this? I'll tell you what we do about this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again too. I'll do it. Oh, I'll do it again. <laughs> How are you doing? You alive? You don't Yeah you are! Yeah you are! How about now? Here. Let me just be merciful about this. Oh good! Oh good! A leap -zerd. Just what I was hoping for. I tried to switch hands. I really did. I really did try to switch hands. Really, I did. Really, I tried to switch hands to throw a rock at his face so that I could stun him and I wouldn't be stunned. And I'm tired, I mean, you know? They're fighting over my corpse. I'm leaving. Take this. It's food. You don't recognize it as such, but it is. I'm so tired. Stop trying to eat me when I'm tired. Not so good at the swimming, are you? Neat. Ugh. Resting, 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 resting. I can't see my face. There we go. Okay. I'm alive. Well, this is a situant situation. That was a com combination of situation and predicament. Situant. Stop being smart. There, is that a is that a third one? Why are there? Why is it when there's one leapser, there's 500 leapsers? They left. They left. They left. Okay. Okay. Eat. Eat. Eat your kill. Get your spear. Get out of here. Eat your kill. Where'd the spear go? Is it here? I'm not seeing it. Is that it? That's it. Got your spear. Leapsert is back. Breathe. Flee. Okay. Okay. It definitely sees me, but it's stuck at the moment. It's having difficulties. Have I been over here? I haven't. Fighting in the water is not ideal for me. This is a long room. <laughs> this room is weirdly long. Is that a rock? Hi, it is a rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. No! Uh... I missed! And there's a thing! That's an eel lizard. That's an eel lizard. That's an eel lizard. Wow, look at it. It's an eel lizard. I wasn't sure I would know an eel lizard if I saw it, but I do. That was an eel lizard. They're very eely. That's actually t terrifying and great. I like that a lot. Just the, it, it swims so fast and it's, I mean, they already have more eel jaws, these lizards, so it makes perfect sense. Huh. Well, great. Seems like a health, healthy way to go. <sighs> There's been a bunch of chat. Scrolling back. Let's see here. Hmm. Did Sharky never learn the intended way to fight large centipedes like reds? The intended way? I got extremely lucky with my red centipede kill. I threw a bomb at it to knock off its armor, then a spear in its, at its head, and it died. However, there are alternative methods, methods of killing centipedes other than spears and bombs. Hoo hoo hoo. Another red? No! Oh, hey, those are lily pucks. The things you were scouring some training for. They are, yes. I don't want to spoil any interactionary stuff in game or particular item mechanics. He hasn't learned them naturally yet, so I wanted to check first. Bonk. Usually we just heavily hint at it. <laughs> Leapsard! He hasn't learned that yet. Dang, that Leapsard was on a mission. Signs are so cute. I know Sharky's not particularly inclined to them right now. I like them. I do like them. At the moment, I don't have the wherewithal to tame one, which is why I usually just try and kill them as soon as I see them, but they are pretty great. I like them a lot. They're so cute and goofy. They are. Eel lizard. Wow, he's fast. Yay, my other favorite lizard. Okay, I'm all for hunting reds with spears, though. Oh, an eel. They're eely good. I only got to see, like, one eel lizard. They seem to be pretty rare. But I approve of them. 
in, in, in theory. So there's a better way to fight centipedes, huh? And I just don't know what it is. Hmm. Wonder what it is. They're auditory hunters. Firecrackers didn't seem to have much of an impact on them, though. I can't imagine a flashbang would have much effect. What other tools do I have available? Hmm. I did note with the red when I threw the spear at it. Uh, there's a. There's a. There's a pearl here. <laughs> I hadn't noticed that before. There's a pearl here. I absolutely shouldn't take it because then I'd have both my stomach and one hand occupied by pearls. But I want to. Because here's the thing. It's a DLC pearl. But I don't remember where... I think the one in my stomach is the subterranean pearl. Mm. Let's see here. That's where I died. If I go to the right, can I get to a hibernation station? I can. Okay. Then here's the plan. I'm going to get that pearl. I'm going to find something to eat. And I'm going to ditch the pearls in the hibernation station. I don't know what the plan is with all these pearls I keep ditching in hibernation stations because if I wanted to travel the world and get them all and bring them all back to moon, that would be like days of work. I think. So I genuinely don't know if and how that's going to ever happen. Anyway. Let's eat some of these things. It's interesting that when you pick these... It makes the noise it makes when you pick up a spear. I wonder why. It's very strange. Okay, so we go up. Music says I'm being hunted. Or something is. <laughs> What are you doing here? I think I inhaled my face. Okay, um... What do I do about that? Is there a rock down here? This would be a really good way to know the intended way to fight centipedes, huh? There's not a rock down here. Okay. There's a rock down here. Okay, I got a rock. Okay, I got a rock. Is it still there? Yes, it is. It got me. It got me. It got me. And I was blocking up the door. I guess I'll rest. It seems confused. Is my face like that because I'm being grabbed? Probably. Um. I knocked my spear to myself, which is nice. Okay, I threw it at nothing. Let's rest can't tell if I'm resting. I think this is actually going to work. It probably shouldn't. But it probably is because he seems stuck. <laughs> I don't think this is actually accomplishing anything. I don't think I'm knocking any armor off of him. Oh boy.
Um. <laughs> well. <laughs> I might live here now. There went my rock. I can't even bend down like I was doing before. <laughs> I suspect that while I'm being held by him, I can't do a full strength throw under any circumstances. So this is not actually accomplishing anything. My spear is out of my arm's reach now. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm dead. Now I'm dead. Yep. Great. Well. What were you doing there? Why did you just show up wherever you want? Come on, man. Eh. <laughs> Intended quotation marks because no one, no real intended way to play. He has the crafting supplies in the area. Oh, hello again. Red, Mr. Red, here's a hint for the centipede combat. You've seen them in the farm arrays. Oh, I know what you guys are referring to. A small hint, Sharky. What we're talking about is something you can craft and have crafted. Huh? Well, this is a predicament. Very affectionate, Red. They do like to explore. They do! And off he goes, finally. I did knock the armor off his head, apparently. It just didn't do me enough good. By the time I was over there, he was upon me, and, uh... Well, that was that. Okay, tell you what. Blorf. There we go. I'll just leave that one there. When I find the purple one again, I'll put it in my stomach. And we'll continue to leave behind this trail of hopeful pearls that will probably never be retrieved. I'm going to go the same way again. The chances of running into the red seem to be very slight. Was that a... What was that? Was that a scavenger? That was a scavenger. There's a big mess going on around here. Well... I want no part of it. Am I going the wrong way? I am going the wrong way. Why am I going the wrong way? Great question. Which way is the right way? I think when I got bear hugged by the red, my brain just vented everything it knew about everything. Ah, this way. I need to go this way. There was part of me that was all... Wow, I can just jump that. <laughs> I've been making that way harder than I need to. Um, there was part of me that was very hopeful that I might get lucky and manage to kill the red while it can't fight back. But most of me was like, well, I'm dead, so what do I do about this? Okay, cool, well, I just flipped out of there, and now I can't get the pearl. Let's see if I can go back and get it. No hunt music, so presumably the red ain't here. I don't know if this goes back to where I want to go, huh? Well, let's see where it does go. Right, this is the rest station. The pearl is here. To get it, I have to go... <sighs> this, this entire place seems to just be very inconvenient, doesn't it? <laughs> this is overall just a very inconvenient zone. Okay, I see where I have to go. This is the place where I kept seeing the red before. Are you actually hunting me? Stop it. Would you put everything down and pick up the centipede and eat it? Thank you. Okay. Com combat music is still playing. Is the red here? Of course not. Why would it be? Okay. From here... Right, right, right. From here, we go back across. We 
we jump to here, and then we go here, and then up. Right? Yes. Okay. All this because I missed a friggin' pole <laughs> that I was trying to grab. Okay, so we go up here, and up there, and through the next room, and then back down around, and through here, and down out the bottom. And we take another shot at grabbing that pearl. How hard can it be? You know, I would say that I would try and make a, uh, another, another bomb. Another, uh, singularity bomb. But, I haven't seen a caramel flower in quite some time. Hadn't really crossed my mind at the time, up until just now. But yeah, I haven't seen a caramel flower in like... I haven't seen a caramel flower all session today. That strikes me as odd. I wonder why they're so rare out here. Might just be, you know, a matter of luck or the lack thereof. I don't know. Okay, I got the pearl. Now what? Now we should bring it to the rest area. If you're going in a... Since you now know the way to do it, maybe you should just go full circle and go back to the rest area you just made it to. I do want to go left here. Yeah, we'll, we'll run in a big circle again. It'll be fine. <laughs> Today, the gourmand run, ran laps. It's a cardio day. It will not have any impact. And that's fine. I'm just going to bring it to this rest station where I already left one. Not this one. The other one. I should also eat these fruit. I'm full enough to hibernate, but I have no reason to not eat these. Something that I've seen in the farm array. <laughs> okay, so the only thing I can think of that I've seen in the farm arrays and not elsewhere that I can craft although I do not remember the recipe for it. The only thing that comes to mind is the spore shrooms. I... Uh, there were centipedes in the regions with the spore shrooms. If they have an interaction, I am not aware of it. But theoretically, I could attempt to make a spore shroom. And see if it works on centipedes. If I had thought of it at the time, what I could have done is I could have uh, used the popcorn plant on the surface to just spawn endless things out of my stomach. gotten myself a spores room that way. Blit. There we go. Eh, may as well rest while I'm here. See if the popcorn plant comes back. If it does, we'll do some stomach alchemy. It'll be great. Karma flowers usually do have fixed spawns, besides the one that spawns from your corpse? What? The one that spawns from your corpse. You want to know the spore shroom recipe? Who knows if it's correct? You spore shroom, summon a reindeer. The natural predator of centipede. Nah, just messing with you. You're right. Think of them as a global insecticide. Huh. Huh. Interesting. Well, that is good to know. Oh, there's a bomb here. <laughs> I left a bomb here. Well... It'll be good for alchemy if I uh, have an opportunity to use it. But the popcorn plants are all still dead. Hasn't been enough cycles, apparently. I don't know how many it takes. 
All right. Sports room. Let's just combine some stuff. Rock plus bomb equal data pearl. Okay. Something is here. Yep, sure was. Yep, sure was. <laughs> Something was here, all right. Hunted again. Ah, by that. Hello. Uh, hmm. I might be able to jump off this wall and then. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Okay. I'm here now. Is that good? I apparently haven't been here before, although it looks very familiar. I guess it was a different bat center. Can I do alchemy with bats? Let's find out. Bat plus pearl. Nope. <laughs> that doesn't work, apparently. I like how I sort of hesitantly brought them together and then was like, no, 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 this is stupid. <laughs> You can't do that. Oh, but you know what I can do? You know what I can do? I can absolutely combine it with Batweed. Batweed! Oh, maybe pearls can't be used for... Oh! I see. Well, that would make sense. Okay. Okay, so... Bat plus Batweed! Your favorite thing! Let's see what happens if I mash two together! You're a mushroom now. Congratulations. Mushroom plus bat. Mushroom plus bat. It's a gooey duck. Gooey duck plus bat weed. It's a mushroom. Mushroom plus bat makes a gooey duck. Okay. Gooey duck plus... Gooey duck plus bat. Gooey duck plus bat. Excuse me, I need a I need a bat. I know I used up all the bat weed, and thus it's not, much less appealing, but air. Gooey duck plus bat. Oh, I just ate them, because it's a meal. <laughs> Vulture's here. I left my spear somewhere. There it is. You, you can't have it right now. You can't have it right now. Don't, don't worry about it. You can't have it right now. So this is a... It's a food dead end. And that drop wig thought it could take on a cyan, and... Well, they both lived. So that's something, anyway. The vulture's gone. Go oh, hi! I'm not sure why this is necessary. Oh, he got my spear. Get him, get him, vulture! Get him, vulture! At least he fears you. I'm so tired. <laughs> Do I still have my pearl? Absolutely not. Huh. Two vultures fighting over the... Oh, you saw me, huh? Well, that's too bad. That is too bad. You give up? Thank you. You're back. He's back. But so are the vultures. Okay, okay. I missed! I missed both of them! <laughs> cool! <laughs> I could have sworn I had at least a decent shot on the vulture. <sighs> hmm. When you die with a karma flower, a karma flower spawns where you died. Did not know that. To be fair, most of your items... The items you need, I have not seen. So you may need to delve into your endless stomach pouch. Gourmand's magical stomach. Gourmand's bag of holding. No, no, I couldn't possibly. Unless. Bats are alchemical, yes. You're a mushroom now. Yes, mushroom. Apparently pearls are crafting items, but they can only have, like, one possible item combination. If you combine a pearl with a neuron fly, it makes an overseer eye. Well, that kind of makes sense. Nyarm! Vulture lunch. Tried to two-hit bird with one spear. Hit two bird with one spear. I can read words. I'm very good at it. I'm a professional 
word reader. All right. Put that, put that down. Put it, put it down. Get the, there we go. Okay, we got a bomb. We got a spear. Let's just go find something to eat. Let's go find a, let's go back to bat place. If we go back to bat place, there's enough bats there where theoretically I should be able to. Let's just eat a bunch of stuff and then we'll just yank a bunch of stuff out of my stomach and we'll see if we come up with it. And if we do come up with it, I'll stuff it safe down into my stomach. And then if we see the red again, we'll see what happens. It'll be great. What can go wrong? Nothing. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Hi. You're alive, aren't you? Are you? That's a no. Great. Well, off you go then. All right. Well, apparently there's water down there. <laughs> I discovered it with science. Ah. I accidentally one-shot this jump last time, but I wonder if I can do it again. I can. Great. Okay, rock in the main hand. We got bats over here. Yeah, we got you got you over here too. Hi. Eat my point three damage. I'll do it again too. You better run. He's injured. He's actually injured. He's taking both of that spears both spears with him. Which is a shame, honestly. I kinda wanted those. Oh well. Let's eat quickly before the vultures notice. Just eat the entire colony. As much as I can. Did I just throw a rock? I may have. No, I didn't throw my rock. I just made a weird noise when I grabbed that guy. <laughs> a weird, visceral noise. Okay. Bat. Bat. Full stomach. All right. And now, what do we got here? Blurf. Batweed. What else we got? Blurf. Well, that was easy. These things aren't edible, edible, right? You just stuff them in your face and they go down in your stomach. Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, throw the batweed. Throw the other batweed. Eat the bats. Okay, so now I have a spore shroom in my stomach. Ostensibly, that will be helpful if I run into the red again. Vulture, get out of here. I need to go to a rest spot now. Now. Where can I even get to a rest spot? Let's go this way. Really sad about that. Really sad about you. No, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Help me, help me. Don't remember that I'm up here. Don't remember. Don't remember me. Okay, there goes the vulture. That's where I want to go. Okay, he's just running away. But he's probably going to stop being afraid soon. He stopped being afraid. Okay. Oh, that guy got a different leap surge. The other one ran away. Okay. I have rock. My rest zone is where? A little ways back, but I can make it. Because it seems if I... <laughs> it seems if I mess around in this area long enough, the red shows up. So I just need to run into him in a context where he's not upon me so suddenly that I can't react. I don't have time to hork up my secret weapon. 
Okay. Ah, my eye. Ah, my eye. Why, though? Okay. I got a rock! Cyan regrets his decisions. He rolled onto the bat and killed it. <laughs> Is that what it was? Well, well. Luck with the draw. Wow, lucky. The red hears your threats. Well, it does work as an insecticide. Reds are still very tanky. You may need to follow it. Okay. I hate that twitchy muscle thing in eyelids. I get it sometimes. I've been getting it, like, all the time. It's it's not actually twitching. It's It feels like there's something in my eye. But then there's not. And it keeps go coming and going, like, constantly for the past several days. I don't know what's going on. I don't like it. I can't see anything wrong with my eye. There's not clearly, like, a sty or anything like that. It's just sort of being obnoxious all the time right now, and I don't get it. I don't like it. But I don't know what to do about it. Okay. Cycle 84. Where am I trying to go? Let's establish that. From there, I can figure out... Okay! Hi. From there, I can fi figure out what to do vis-a-vis -vis red. Still have Predator music going. This is the room where I kept fighting the red. It's not far from here. I could stop by and check and see if he's there. Probably not going to be, though. But I don't know where to go, is the other thing. <laughs> I was going up, but then up stopped working. Because I seem to have reached the surface. Kinda. Which means I need to figure out where I'm actually trying to get here. And I don't have a good answer for that. Yeah, there we go. No, 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 oh no. I wish that hadn't happened. It's fine, we can try again. There we are. We can try again. Okay, now we'll just go to here. Go to here. Or not. You can go there instead. That's fine. Is there another way to get there? Yes, actually there is. How do I get there from here? You go down and left. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Can you actually get there from here? No, you can't. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> Pipe yards. <laughs> Can you get there from here? No. Pipe yards. Ostensibly, you can get anywhere in the world traveling the pipe yards long enough, but in, in practice, no, you can't. Pipe yards. There. That's where I want to go. That's where I want to be. Good. Good. Okay. Let's go see if the red is hanging out in that one big open space. It is. It is. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I was trying to come through here. But still, they're very much alive. Okay, where's it going? Um. Um. Alright, hang on. If you could just. If you could just. Is it dead? I can't tell. The thing is that the one right there is definitely not dead. I, it, didn't, it, didn't, it didn't impact! It didn't impact! It didn't impact! Why not? I landed right on his head, and instead of me hitting him with impact, it just... He just... The red was dead.
That's extremely frustrating. So the spores kill it eventually. I did this big fancy vault through the sky and I landed directly on the head of the centipede, but apparently I just hit the floor just before it. So instead I just gently patted him with my foot and he was like, oh sweet, free food. <sighs> Pipework seems frustrating. Look at the little scab in your bat fly drawings. Reddit is your time. Well, it's not well. Maybe if we sit upon it thrice, thusly. You actually just performed a hidden movement tech there. You stored a backflip on a pole? Then backflipped off the pole at the top. Well, neat. I didn't know that was a thing, but it would be pretty cool if it had happened anywhere else. We're going back. We're going back there. If the red is not there, we're going to die, and we're going to go back there again until it is. I mowed it so. I'm going to kill and eat that red. And ideally all his friends. Like his whole family. Which seems vindictive, but yeah, I mean, he, he wasn't the one that killed me that time. But if he hadn't had friends, my quest would be done right now. Are you here? No, you're not. Wow, that's fascinating. Wait, someone's here. Someone's here. Someone is here. Is it a red off the screen or is it a vulture? Let's find out. It's the red. He's here. Okay. Okay. I know you can hear me. The music wouldn't be playing if you couldn't. Come and get it. Come on. Not you. Not you. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. There. Soak in it. Soak in it. Die in it. Breathe it on in. You can't come through here. I'm in here. You can't come through here. This is my passageway. You can't come through. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. His legs wilted. His legs wilted. I think he's dead. Are you dead? Can I eat you? Can I eat you? <laughs> we got it. We got it. I got it. Okay, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. We gotta go back to shelter now. Now is time for resting and not for dying. Time for resting, not for dying. Time for resting, not for dying. Now. Just up there. Rest places, just up there. Whew. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me about the secret weakness of centipedes. <laughs> Apologies that I had to use it, but um, those guys are hard to kill, it turns out. Plus, I mean, you didn't exactly tell me. You just gave a very, you gave a very good hint and then confirmed it. And that's fine, that's fine. I actually appreciate it because otherwise we wouldn't be here right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Eat quest complete. I dubbed this screen Skugbug Red, and I'm going to Skugbug Red. <laughs> Serene, yes. We will most definitely Skugbug Red. Target spotted. Breathe it in, boy. Red's dead, baby. Mechanics aside, where in the world would you discover this interaction normally? I, I'm guessing, like, okay. In the farm arrays, there were centipedes in the passageways that had the, the puff shrooms. But here's the thing. They were small enough that you can eat them whole. You would have no reason to fumigate them. 
But imagine, I'd imagine if you accidentally did, they would all die. That would be hard to discover. That would be a tough one. <laughs> GG easy, get good red. <laughs> Before you finish Gorman's business, may I also request a trip to the farmer raised outskirts cab toll? Food quest accomplished. Now you can decide what, when to go to Outer Expanse. I know I keep asking this, but it keeps being something. Right, there was a thing in the farmer raised. You go to the farmer raised and then you go east or something like that? Is that what you were, that's what you were talking about, right? Like, as soon as you enter the farmer raised from the Sky Islands, go east instead of west, and there's something, right? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, same thing, but the Karma Gate and Scav Tolik specifically. But I don't think I've been there, so I didn't think I know that. I don't think I knew that was there. In any case, yeah, absolutely, we can do that. At the moment, I don't have anything in my stomach. And I don't have anything I'd want to take over there anyway, right? Fast travel, I need to cover shelter, recovering all karma. I'm thinking this is a, a good time to use a passage if we're going to do this thing. You've been there, just not on this playthrough. Oh! Oh, is that the one where I went as the hunter? The one that leads to the outskirts and they I got killed a whole bunch? Because <laughs> I did technically make it through there eventually. No, I didn't. In the stream, I didn't. When I tried hunter... Before I did the stream, I did technically make it through there, and I ran into my first red, and it annihilated me, and then I stopped playing it. Is that the one you're talking about? You can always sleep, then store. Store a pearl, and starve yourself, and then passage. In case you want to take a pearl with you. Hmm. I won't regret it. Okay, okay. Um. What do you mean, starve yourself, and then passage? So you store the pearl, you do a starvation run, and then you passage. Okay. Is the idea, the, the, the necessity of starving yourself is so that you can get back into a shelter and use a passage? Is that the idea? I'm thinking that's, that's what you mean. The one problem is that the pearls I have stored here are both colored pearls that I do not wish to trade. <laughs> But if I can go get one, that'd be something. How did I make a pearl earlier? I made a pearl by combining a bat. No, it wasn't a bat. It was a fruit. No? How did I make it? Rockless bomb. Rockless bomb, okay. You could trade a spear or a mushroom. Well, look, here's the thing. I'm sure I'll find something over there I can trade. Probably. <laughs> it's probably fine. It's probably fine. Let's just go. Let's just go. Passage. Uh, oh, you have to use them in order. Right. I love the graphics on these, too. The survivor. That's not even me. <laughs> That's that other guy. good music also. Okay, continue. Let's see here. Shaded citadel, garbage wastes, chimney, canopy, industrial complex, outskirts, subterranean, five pebbles, the exterior, farmer rays, Map button. Let's see here. Right, I need the other side of this gate. So I actually need the Sky Islands. Because the first shelter in the farm arrays is significantly inconvenient. There might have been one down here, but I didn't discover it, so I'd have to take the whole rabbit taxi system all the way back from here. Therefore, let's not. Let's, how do I, there we go. Sky Islands. Okay. Sky Islands. And the thing about the Sky Islands is that, was it this? This right here, I think, is a um, DLC specific region. And I walked into it once and died immediately because Sky Islands, and then I never went back. I almost wonder if I should 
head through there, but let's see here. In order to get where I'm trying to get, I would need to go here. So I probably should just go here. At the moment, we have half an hour, so <laughs> I should probably make good usage of my time. Passage time. So, fun fact, passage works for all shelters you've been to across all slug cats. I'm curious what we'll find here, honestly. I kind of use a passage in Gorman's Run to teleport all the way up to the Walls shelter near Five Peps and just did it like that. Very funny. Gorman refuses to climb. He's too fat. <laughs> he just hand waves the climbing. Okay, we're going here. I don't know what that little square means, but we're going here. Why is it not? Ah. It's n I have to select it. I have to select it somehow. I must select it somehow. No. Friggin. <laughs> this one. How do I select it? Pick up button select. There we go. There we go. Shelter selected. Now hold to start. What? Oh, that is a game changer right there. Those are the pearls that were with me in the shelter where I just was. It brings them with you if you're in a shelter with them. That is huge. That makes trying to get pearls to look to the moon way more feasible. Holy crap, that's amazing. But we're not doing that right now. <laughs> right now, we're not doing that. We're going this way. I think I actually stored those pearls. You're kidding. Is that a different set of pearls? From what I know, it doesn't take sheltered items. But those are the same colors as the pearls I just had. There was a green one and a purple one. I don't know. That's... Huh. If passages weren't one-time use consumables, I'd be willing to experiment with it more, but uh, they are definitely that thing I just said, so... <laughs> Alright, so we're going to the farm arrays, and we're going to the east. And we're going to try and do it relatively efficiently, if possible. While I'm doing this, I would like your opinions on a matter. So, Gorman's quest is done. Gorman just needs to go to the west, and then theoretically Gorman is done here. I don't know what happens at the end of Gorman's run, but if it's anything like Survivor run, well, I imagine we... Okay. So basically, I'm worried that if I finish it out, I will lose access to this Gourmand and what I have done as this Gourmand and therefore the pearls being where they, I've placed them and that sort of thing. It may be that you don't lose access to that, but I'm worried that you do. And uh, as such, what I'm debating is, do we finish out Gourmand's mission and then go straight on to uh, Artificer? Or do we leave that for now? It depends on how it interacts, honestly. Um, because I would like to take as many of the pearls as I can over to Looks to the Moon. I just don't know for sure how that interacts with the end of the game, you know? If that's something I need to do in my spare time before we finish the game, then it's probably going to take me a little while. Uh, shoot, is this even the right way? There's a passage way over there. I feel like if you go up here, nothing actually happens. I think you have, I think you have to go over here at this point. Hi. Curse to me, I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, it's not very filling, these guys. Oh well. 
So what I wanted to ask was if you know, based you have more knowledge than I do, and also you probably know what you expect in this case. So basically, if you're interested in seeing the data from the pearls, which I certainly am. It's a question of whether I need to go drop those off before I finish the game. Or not, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> there, that pearl flew. I mean, not pearl, that, that spear flew, rather. I'll finish up, will ya? Thank you. I wasn't actually going for beehive when I made that when I did that alchemy just now because I didn't know what would what it would create. But honestly, beehive's not a bad thing. It won't. Oops, oops, oops. That's not good. That's not good. Oh, those. That's that's been tall enough for it'll kill me. Okay, so get up, get free from that. Get free from that. Lego. Or not. Fine. I'm tired. Ugh. Okay. Uh. Anyway, if a vulture comes after me, I could probably beehive him pretty good. That's all I was going to say. That's all I was going to say. And I am curious what you have to say on this matter, but I also can't check at the moment. So I will check later. Okay, my spear is gone for, for forever. Great. Love that. Didn't need it anyway. Just keep moving. That's bad. I might be dead. Ah, thank you. Okay, cool. I'm not sure why that worked, but it did. <laughs> it's because I made the grumbly noises. It's all in the grumbly noises. They can't possibly take the grumbly noises. Okay. Hi! How are you? Pardon me. Okay, there's a green lizard with a very vibrant head over there. Beehive. Beehive. Beehive, beehive, beehive. Beehive, beehive. Sure, I have one on me, but that doesn't actually help with dealing with another one. I wonder if the scavengers will like my beehive. Hey, scavengers! Speak of the devil. Um, why aren't the scavengers being affected by the beehives? Perhaps it just dodged. Like, I thought they was close enough where that was a dangerous thing for him to do, but apparently it's good. Oh, I'm here. Is this a place? Ugh. There you go. Beehive and a spear. Do I have to go ahead? Is that not good enough? They're not giving me the hand gesture. Huh. Well, that's not good. This doesn't feel like the same scavenger out checkpoint. Did I come the wrong way? Hmm. Hmm. You want Far East Farmer Rays into the outskirts. This is not this place. This is Mid-Farmer Rays Toll. Okay. So I'm in the wrong place. Well, then I guess I don't need to come here anyway. Pardon me. Did I just steal from you? I'm sorry if I did. Guess I have to go back. How? Where on earth? How do I go east? How do I go east? Okay. To sort of start making my way back. I wonder if I should just get myself killed. <laughs> this would probably be faster. Okay. Oh, this beehive is currently in recovery. Convenient. Do I have to go up? And then to the right? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm back here. There's a lizard. We're going to ignore this fact for as much as we can. 
I've always felt a little bad for the greens and the greens and the farmer rays. There's enough awkward jumpy bits that it's really not very green friendly around here. Oh no! I hate it when I set up for a pounce and then I just don't. <laughs> okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Let's just go. Is there a... There is a shelter. Not too far away, but... Okay, we can't get up there. Go this way. Oh, I can't possibly get over that thing. Only the... Only the reindeers can do that, and there ain't one of them here. Okay, so how do I go the way I want to go? Hmm. How do I even get out of here? I guess I have to take that pole in the far east. I didn't think there was a way to get out of this screen from the top right, but... Well, I don't have a better idea, so we're going. Right here. Resting. Climbing. I mean, this is a ladder. Maybe it leads somewhere interesting. Hey, can I just grab your face? Thank you. This will actually make my life a lot easier now that I think on it. Huh. This is not the way to go. But I can probably get back across here with this thing's help. I can. It, is that good? And we're here. I'm going to just take a rest. I'm going to take a rest. I'm going to catch up on chat. I'm going to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. Because I apparently went the wrong way, but I don't remember the right way at all. I thought if I just went east, I'd, you know, figure it out. But I sure didn't. So, I'm just going to take my friend, grab him by the face, just drag him right into my hibernation chamber. Congratulations. We both live here. It's two by two. <laughs> it's the smallest chamber I've seen. Nice. Okay. Catching up on Jet. There's quite a bit of it. Let's see here. <laughs> yeah, no, he just picked those up. That must be a new feature. This has nothing to do with Gormon's quest, but it is unique to Gormon's playthrough. It's just a little Easter egg. Let me check myself. I'll pull up Rain real quick. Rain real quick. You should be able to continue your run from Gormon's last shelter after game end. Really? Though I feel like the Ascension is the only one that would lock your save. I'm fairly certain you can continue the after the end because the other slug cats can. Oh, the hungry grasses. Yeah, besides Gormon doesn't ascend like others, a lot of the new cats have new endings. Those are some good sharky noises. <laughs> Thank you. It's more if you want to do it right now. Other slug cats may be more suited to the pearl transportation job other than slow, chunky slug cat here. Winks. Yeah, I agree with you, Darkest. Not this place. This is mid farmer rays toll. You want far east farmer rays into outskirts. That toll is the very southwest of farmer rays. But you do have to go through here to reach that toll. I have difficulty remembering which parts of farmer rays link up to which parts of. But, yeah, follow Darkus. I remember this direction very well. Darkus certainly knows the map better than I do. Because this is the way I went on my first path to the Sky Islands. PTSD intensifies. Greens are OP in farm. They are immune to grass. The way past the scavenger toll is a massive U-turn. So you were going the right direction if only Sharky saw my last message. But greens do tend to get stuck in pits a lot. Yeah, I always remember it as being east, but that's always because I came in through it. So I envision it's eastness. But it's not really. This is... I mean, I mean it's a... It's a game where you are an animal. <laughs> more like slime instead of fur. We shall fly over the scav toll. A slime game, then. Indeed. Leaves very slug like these cats here. Go past the scavenger toll. It's a massive one-way tunnel. This shelter ain't got nothing on those luxury train cars. That is certainly true. Okay, cool. So I gotta go back. What's more, it seemed like the scavengers did not accept my gift of beehive. So I gotta look for something better. Or trying to manufacture something better. But yes, this is Rain World. You are a slug cat. A lot of things happen. It's very difficult to explain it in a short period of time, but at the moment I finished up eating 22 different things all across the world and am now attempting to get to a very specific place for apparently an Easter egg. All right. Well, there's a spear over there, so you're free to go. 
I'll just take this. And let's find some food. That was some food. Yet somehow I did not grab it. Well, it's fine. There will be more food. There's always more food. As long as your definitions of food are loose enough. And it don't get much looser than this feller. In terms of food definitions. Wish that popcorn plant was still here. That would be great. But it's not. What can I do? Wah. Okay. Can I make it to there? I can. Hooray. Okay, so now I'm here. There's a green lizard. Those are not very efficient to kill for eating. So I will not. Those guys are a terrible idea to kill for eating. <laughs> Unless you like being impaled. Although admittedly I could probably take out the parent first, but it also seems unnecessarily risky. So we gotta go through the scavenger toll. Spear plus beehive wasn't good enough, so it probably has to be a pearl. I don't remember seeing any firework grass. If there is some, I can make a bomb and combine it with some rocks and get myself a pearl, but like... If there isn't, then I don't know what to do exactly. The closest... Whoa, 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 easy there, easy, easy, easy. I did nothing, I did nothing, why did, why? I was just thinking nearby. Chill out. Friggin' bees. Release me. I'll have your hide for that. Come here, you. Come here. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Man, I thought I could loot them when they were expended like that. Because I know they re refill. They do. But apparently you can only pick them when they're full, huh? Okay. Well, fine. And here's the toll. Booth. Place. You suppose they count that spear out front as being theirs? Probably they do, huh? Beehives are threatening me. Hi there. Do you like spear? Do you like more spear? That's all I've got. They're pointing spears at me, so that's not good enough. <sighs> Couldn't you at least... Is that, is that bomb just sitting there on the ground? They count it as theirs, though, don't they? Or you're carrying it, aren't you? Yeah, you're carrying it. Okay, here. What if I steal one of their bombs, right? If I steal one of their bombs, make it into a pearl and trade it to them. They won't be happy about it, but we'll see if they kill me. If they kill me, well, I die. It's fine. Hi. That's not what I wanted. I want that. No, not that. Predator music is starting. Are we fighting? Not your spears. I don't want your spears. I want your bomb. I got your bomb. Okay, I got your bomb. Now. Pearl. I made a pearl. It's for you. Take it. Did I make too much negative reputation by stealing your stuff and now it's no good? I can't tell. <laughs> They're not giving me any hand gestures. Let's just go. Hi. So I take it that wasn't good enough? I take it that wasn't good enough? Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> okay, well. Hmm. 
it would be high of them to accept it. But you can also trade them a bunch of things from your gut until they let you pass. That's a very good point. I'm sure the scavengers would love saliva colored food. A hazer could work too, and that's something you can pull from your gut. The beads still explode when you pick them up normally. You just need to gas them to calm them and then pick them. You'd know all about that, wouldn't you, deadly bee? <laughs> well, the immediate, explos immediate explosive spear whiff and kills two guys. So much for Chieftain. Hooray! <laughs> It's fine, though, see, because it didn't happen. It wasn't real. We continue. Okay. Okay. So here's the plan. I need food, but I also would like to grab a beehive and alchemize it, so we're going to grab one of these things and take it with me. Unfortunately, there's not a great deal of food on the way here. Aside from these squid cadas, but I would need a spear in order to be able to deal with them, and I don't have one, so... Well, there's a spear, but it's out of reach. That's not good enough. Yeah, I can't get to it. Okay, so no spear. That's fine. That's fine. We're going this way. Yeah. Okay. Bunch of rocks up here and no spears. There's a spear over there, if I can make it there. Okay. And then, there. Okay. So now I have spear, I have puff shroom. Or whatever they're called. Spore shroom. Great. Oh. It's already being fought by a... Its mask is off. Its mask is off. Number one, I can eat it. Number two, I can take the mask and give it to the scavengers. I've won! Thank you, Noodlefly. Your service is greatly appreciated. Good eating on a vulture. Okay, so where's your mask? Where'd your mask go? Where'd your mask go? Is this it? <laughs> okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We are good. If there's one thing the scavengers like as much as pearls, it's these things. So, I'll just give them this. And we'll be good. Plus, I'm full. So if they don't like it, for some reason, I can puke up some stuff until they're impressed. Parlor tricks, you know? Neat. Hi, I'm scary. Hi, I'm scary. Hello, I'm scary. I'm scary. Look at me, I'm scary. Blah! I'm vulture. Blah! Blah! Run away. Blah! You really should run away. I'm extremely scary. Would you just... There. <laughs> Trying to squirm his way into a wall so desperate. Guess he didn't have anywhere else to go. Understandable. Have a nice day. Hello, scavengers. I'm back. Please don't kill me <laughs> again. I won't steal from you this time, I promise. I suppose last time what it was is that I, since I stole their bomb and alchemized it, when I gave it back, they were like, yeah, that was ours. Good job, I guess. Hi. I have a cool mask. It's for you. It's for you. Yeah! Give me the hand gesture. That was it, wasn't it? That was it. Do it again. You're all hopping all over each other and not... Well, I guess there's a lizard right there. That's probably why. That, that's the hand gesture, right? We're good, we're good, we're clear, we're clear. We should be. Pardon me. I paid my toll. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm sure they can deal with it. There's like 16 of them. Rock. Okay. They probably don't like that I didn't help them. But 
let's be honest, if I had thrown my spear into that mess, the odds of me hitting a scavenger instead of a... Instead of the lizard is are quite high. Wait a second, there's... I have to go down. I have to go down. Okay, okay. So I have to go down. Now the question is, do I go down to the right? Oh, hey, there's a thing to learn. Let's see if I can get it. Give it. Thank you. Okay, hang on. Let's see here. Body do da da da. Just that was gold. Just learned that overseer eyes count as two thirds of the needed price for scavenger tolls. Vulture masks are worth a lot too. Woo mask. Wow. Hello. Wow. Vulture culture. You've been blessed by a ton of by, a ton by this run. Apparently yes. I'm officially moved out of my house. Congratulations. You need 10 points to pass a scab toll. Vulture masks are worth 5. Spears are worth 3. Lizards are only afraid of vulture masks for 17 seconds. King vulture mask 30 seconds. Good to know. Distracted scabs. And once again, you've been blessed by luck. Bottom left is shelter. So I, that actually wasn't good enough? <laughs> that wasn't good enough? So I technically... I technically didn't pay the toll? <laughs> Oops. Well, I wonder how mad they are about it. Guess we'll find out. There's the shelter. Okay. This is spore shelter. King vulture masks are worth 10, and pearls, obviously. Right, okay. So I definitely should have brought a pearl with me, is what you're saying. Gotcha. I wonder if I combine enough spore shrooms into this rock here, if I can wind up with a bomb. Probably not, huh? That's probably not how it works. There are just a lot of spore shrooms here. Oh, that's what I was thinking. Chieftain has indeed decreased fairly significantly for, you know, that sort of thing. So yes, they're mad. I'll have to try and make it up to them, I guess. Certainly I won't be able to pass the other scavenger toll with the same lucky. So uh, we're going to have to formulate a pearl somehow on the way, I guess. Now you can head west to reach that place. Oops, they're gumpy. East, indeed. That's what I figured you meant. <laughs> Got it. So we'll drop the spear. Grab the rock. Fusion. It's a beehive. Let's put some spores in this beehive. It's a gooey duck. Can I combine this with spores? Is it going to make a mushroom? It's probably going to make a mushroom. Let's find out. Fusion. It's a mushroom. <laughs> My spear's gone. Fell down here, didn't it? There it is. Uh, let's see if this is a complete loop. Where did my... I dropped my mushroom in the passageway, didn't I? Didn't I? Yes, I did. Just so it happens to have full cover so you can't see what's in there. There's a spear. There were two spears in there. That should be my mushroom. Indeed it is. Okay. Mushroom plus spore shroom. It's another gooey duck. Okay, listen, just eat it. Great. Okay, well. I can't make bombs here. I would like to make bombs here, but I cannot. So, what are we going to do about that? I'm going to eat this baby. That's one thing. Oh, you're coming back? Ah, never mind. Missed my chance, that's okay. Alright, we're going to the east. Pardon me, grass. Do not antagonize the noodle flies. Vulture learned that lesson the hard way. Mwah. Let me go. Let me go. I'm so tired. <laughs> okay. Wake it up. How far do I have to go to get to the scavenger toll? Why? Why? Let go. 
Is that another... That's another vulture for sure, but... I'm stuck down here. Okay. I couldn't tell which kind it was. I didn't get a clear enough look at its face. Whatever it was hunting is gone, so presumably it won. There's a caramel here. There's a red here! There's a... There's a red here. Where is it? That's a king vulture. That's a king vulture. That's the reds fighting the king. Okay. Okay. Hi. Yeah, okay. Drive by killing. Thank you. I'm dead. I'm actually legitimately dead, but like... How, how was I supposed to survive that one? <laughs> He's just running laps with me now. Wow, he impaled him. He's, he spiked the red. He got the red! Wow, I guess if anyone's going to be able to get him, it's probably a king vulture. Great, well, uh... Wrong direction. Chuck, you ever been to the scavenger hideout in any of your off-camera runs? Uh, the one in the garbage waste? I believe I have. You know, I'm shocked all those times you young spears from scavengers didn't put a dent in your scav reputation. Apparently, it was just really good at that time. Red, red, red! Monched the red newming away from the, the, the quarters. Rude. There are like nine rooms between you and the toll, but you're getting close. Okay. Gotcha. So it is this direction, but if I don't have a pearl, then we're going to have problems. I don't know what to do about that. Hmm. I don't think pearls just ran... Like there, there are zones where you can get data pearls just sort of randomly strewn about, but I don't feel like I'm going to be able to just stumble across one. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Hmm. In any case, we got to stop now. So, there's a pearl in the way. Grant, great. I will get that one then, but we're going to have to do it next time. So, <laughs> which is dopey because we're just trying to do this little Easter egg thing, and it's like the end of the Gourmand run. But... Here we are. I got to do the thing. So, um, I think the plan next time will be head to the toll, find the Easter egg, and then head west to the piers and see what the ending is. And then presumably we'll move on to the next run, I would imagine. So, yeah, don't be place to stop. But what are you going to do? It's Rain World. You never know how long it's going to take to get any given place. <laughs> There's a few near the Karma Gate, if I remember. Okay. Well, I'll keep an eye out. The last end of stream. Next time, I'm sure we will find things to do next stream. For sure. End of stream. Lisa got to say hi. Yes, thank you for stopping by, Tama. And congratulations on being moved out. If that's a good thing. I hope it's a good thing. If you feel like it could... If you feel like it, you could always passage to Outer Expanse after. I don't know what that is. We'll discuss next time, though. Hoy boy. You rest near that anyway. Not like you're lacking teleports. Great. Cool. Well, thank you for coming to the stream. I hope you had a good time. And uh, the next one will be on Wednesday, and we'll do all those things that we just discussed. That's the plan, anyway. So, uh, yeah. I hope the rest of your week goes well, or the, the rest that your week starts well, I guess. I guess we're just starting in on one, aren't we? <laughs> I had a weird weekend. It doesn't feel like the week's starting, but it is, and I hope it goes well for you. So I'll hopefully see you in a few days. Be well in the meantime, and good night.